All right. Well, we made some progress yesterday. Obviously, we made progress. It was the first time we played it. Uh, we got to the the mansion, I believe. So we got out of the house and into the mansion. The it, one mansion into another. I don't know. I don't know what what they called it. But I guess we're going back in now. Here's the thing. I made two saves, and I do want to go back and look around because I feel like we missed something in the house. So I kind of want to go back to whatever the big house we were in and go check that out again. Uh, the lady wasn't chasing us, and I don't think we exhausted our options. I, The the one thing I want to do, I don't know about the key, but the one thing I want to do is bring the dog back up to that balcony and try to get him to like jump over, see if he can jump to the column. I just want to give it a try. I never got to try it yesterday. You know, if, if it doesn't work out, we can just go to the... We're in the castle. All right, so we're in the castle. We're going to go back to the castle real quick. We're going to go back to the castle real quick and see if we can get the dog up to that ledge. And if I can't, then we'll just load the other save. All right, so how did we get to... How would we get to that ledge? I don't exactly remember. Come on, buddy. You! Just looks freaking weird here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's fix something here. Real quick. Fix something. Right quick. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, man. So, the basement's not where we want to go. What the hell's wrong with the shadows? The shadows looked all kinds of jacked up. I don't think it's over here to the left. Oh man, what, is, what for real? What's up with the shadow? We might have to restart this. Hmm. Huh. Seems weird. I wanted to go back over here. There's like some lock places around here. That we might be able to try the key on. Maybe. Huey. No brakes, man. For whatever reason, I thought there was something around here. Okay. <laughs> what is wrong? Oh my god. Oh my god. I got a, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a good plan. I got an excellent plan. I have, a, I have an excellent plan. I know exactly how to solve this. I know exactly how to solve this. I just reloaded. Something went wrong there. Something. Something plum done, done gone, done gone, rid on. Plum dumb gone wrong. We'll just... We got it. We got it. Everything's good. We're, we're, we're back to where we were. And plus, there was nothing over there, so rather than running all the way back... Rather than running all the way back, we could just be here. We could just be here. Alright, 
I don't know where that top exit is, though. I don't remember how to get up there. I think... I thought it was through where we were going through the kitchen. But maybe I was wrong? Yeah, it's right up here. That's where I want to go. So we'll just go... All the way around. Right? This way? Come on! What the hell? Huey. I didn't solve it. Come on. I did not solve the issue. Huey. That <laughs> that did that that did not solve it. Whatever I did did not fix it. Alright, maybe it's through this door. Yeah, I don't think it is. This is this is a different exit. of exits around here so hey there we go all right now you come over here and jump over there you can do it you can do it you're a big dog yeah go get it go, Huey. you do it He actually did it! He actually did it! That was flipping nuts! That was flipping nuts! I didn't think he was actually gonna do that. That was just like a, well, maybe he could. are acting all like freaking weird now all right so i want to see if there's a place that we can use this key that we got the the dirty key i can't knock that shelf over for whatever reason now huey couldn't knock it over knock it over huey. Knock the shelf over. You get him. You get him. Come on, man. Get your ass over here. Alright, now. Knock the shelf over. No, knock the shelf over, man. Help me help you. Go, Huey. Knock it. All right, I guess we're not knocking it over. It is it is impossible. No one can do it. All right, so let's let's look at the key again. Let's see if the key has Oh, do I not have the key? I guess I didn't go see uh Debilitus. It's <laughs> It's good that, uh... Oh shit, there was something over here? Beef jerky! We got the jerkiest of beefs! Uh 
Oh, so he didn't give me the key. What up, Nate? How you doing, homie? How goes Tuesday? Welcome, welcome. All right. So he hooks us up with the key. Well, it's good that I didn't go looking around to see what we were supposed to do with the key. I wanted to read what the key had to do. Doing all right, man. Tuesday evening. Did did terrible. The smudged key. We did terrible in trivia. Terrible in trivia. The two the true trivia games we did did not go well. A key given to you from Debilitas. It could use a good cleaning. All right, so we need to figure out where to use that. I don't know of too many locked places to actually check that out. Did, did terrible at trivia. But here's a fun question. Nah, no, I don't have any fun questions. Who was who was Jimmy Carter's vice president? <laughs> we could we couldn't figure that out. We couldn't figure it out. It was quite depressing. None of us were alive at the time. While not an excuse, we couldn't figure it out. It hurt our brains, our collective brains. Oh, man, this is all jacked up. What happened to the shadows? <laughs> I did I didn't know either. I didn't know either. So one of one of our trivia questions was asking who were of the presidents running in an election, who were their vice presidents? Alright, yeah, we gotta figure out how to fix this. This is just this is unconscionable. That's just bad. What did I do? What did I do between now and yesterday? And so we got we got just about every president and their running mate all the way back to to Jimmy Carter. And for the life of us, we just couldn't figure out who it was. Nope, that didn't fix it. That 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 did not fix it. You would have thought maybe it would have fixed it, but it didn't. What could have happened here that jacked this up so badly? That looks better. <laughs> that looks better. Oh man, I don't know what the hell happened there. And uh, and so we went we went through and we 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 thought and we thought and we thought. Turns out, man, fucking Walter Mondale, man, fucking Walter Mondale, that guy, that guy, that guy. Completely forgot all about Wally Mondale. There's nothing down there. Good old, good old Wally Mondale, man. It was, it was a cool question. I don't, I don't think I've ever dealt with something like that before, which I thought was a lot of fun to do. It's just. I mean, one, it's not an excuse, but I definitely was not alive at the time that, that Jimmy Carter was president. Or was I? Or was I? I am 77. I was alive for Kennedy and Nixon, but, but not Jimmy Carter. We just, we just missed out on it. Quite unfortunate. Eh... Unless there's like something small around here that the key is on, maybe it's something small. You know, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Obama, and Trumpikins. That's that's fair. That's fair. In in elementary school, we had these Oh, how do we get that? Do it. Go, Huey. Yeah. 
This dog's amazing! Huey, you're so good. You're so good. good boy. You are so good. You are so good. Uh, come here. Come here so come here so I can rub your face. Good boy. No, rub his face. Rub his face. There we go. Good face rubbing. Good and boy. and we would play we would play like a like a a game with the cards where it was kind of similar to war but since we weren't allowed to have cards in the classroom you really couldn't do anything so it was like a, a mix between goldfish and war that we created for the presidents and it helped us learn all the presidents up until i mean this was in the 80s so up until i guess george george bush senior i think the last one would have been reagan or something like that so you would you would do just like a one-on-one -on -one or one one-on-one -on -one, no more than three people you would deal out all the president cards and then just kind of like play the game out it was it was really cool and we like taught ourselves the presidents which was kind of neat we did not teach ourselves the vice presidents i will tell you that for sure we did not teach ourselves the vice president. It's one thing or another. Either either I leave that, that goofy hack on, or I take it off. But either way, we get some weird, like, shadowy texture things going on. I don't know how to fix that. Oh, no, we don't want to be in that room. We definitely do not want to be in that room. That is, that is the big no-no room. All right, I guess we go back down. You're thinking about getting Hades, dude. I've been watching people play Hades. It looks amazing. Amaze balls. It looks amaze balls. What am I doing mincing words? Looks fucking badass. Super Giant puts out some really freaking awesome games. They they do great. They do great. And it's only 20 bucks. It's it's a rogue light. Not a rogue like. It's a rogue light. I don't know why you would name two varieties in the same series so close together. Roguelite, roguelike. They are different. Maybe there's something in here. Yep, no, this is all just creepy. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Huh. There's a hiding place. Maybe there's something behind the door. What if we close the door? Sorry, right, buddy. Just looking around, seeing if there's something we can use a key on. Oh, what about the cage? No. It's a box, but I can't open it. There is a slot here. Don't tell me this is going to be like that last one. Oh, shit. All right, well, then that would mean we'd need to find a clue. Maybe if we find where the key goes, we can get that. No, you're five bucks short. Re, it's only 20 bucks. It seems very affordable. Yeah, so maybe if we find out where this key goes, we can figure out what to do with that box. I did I forgot that that box was there. Come on. All right, creepy ass doll room. I completely forgot about that. But it looks cool. It looks cool. It looks very cool. Got a bunch of different weapons to, to run through. The story looks interesting. I love, you know, the Greek gods, the Roman gods, all that stuff. Really fun. Uh, I like the idea that it's, it's like you die, but you continue to, like, upgrade things. I like that better than, like, the standard roguelikes. Where, you know, like, more like Spelunky, where your first run could be the same as your, like, 100th run. I like the fact that you can, like, work your way towards something. 
I think I think it's all really neat, and the graphics in the game look fantastic. The music seemed okay too. I haven't I haven't really heard too much of the music, but the music seemed all right. It looks it looks fun. I would I would love to give it a shot. And like I said, Super Giant, they tend to they tend to just put out solid solid games consistently. Transistor was a lot of fun. Bastion was a lot of fun. I didn't play the RPG that they put out. I'd like to go through that. Was that Battle Chasers, I think it was called? No, that doesn't seem right. It wasn't Battle Chasers. It was something along the lines that came out... Came out, like, at the same time as Battle Chasers, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, I turned this off. I turned that off. Alright, well, it's not in... It's not in here. Where else can we go? Well, where else haven't I looked? It's down here. Oh, we haven't been down here in a while. Anything in here? That's, uh, yep. That's, the, you can hide in there. Good job. Good job. That's where you hide in the shower. But yeah. I agree. It looks it looks a lot of fun. I like I like the variety of weapons. They look really cool. I mean, I've I've watched a ton of people play through it. A bunch of different people. Everyone was talking about Hades and I was like, I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a roguelike. I don't give a shit. The door is locked. Oh. Oh, can we... Well, smack my ass and call me Nancy. Cool. We did find it. I'm glad I came back here rather than keeping going. Dude, come on. Come on. All right, there's something in here. Metal boots? What are metal boots? Steel toe boots kick attack becomes twice as powerful. Minor chance of hitting enemy with a power attack. Oh, beans. Hell yeah, put that on. I guess that's why we came back down in here. We got some we got some ass kickers. These boots was made for walking all over a you. Is that all that was in here was a pair of boots? So that's what aw. Oh, I thought we were gonna get like a note or something that would allow us to open up that, that thing, that box. So Huey gave us a key that let us get metal boots. Oh, you cool. All right, I guess there's no real point in staying down here. Let's let's go. Huey. Oh, hold on. You know what? We can have Huey search. Hold on. Let's let's have Huey search first. Go, go look around, dude. Go look around. But yeah, it looks it looks fantastic. The voice acting seemed on point. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought he found- Dude was, like, determined over here. Go here. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely try. I... I try to bulk sell all of my uh, inventory cards on Steam today. And I, I got a, I got a script called Steam in Inventory Enhancement? Steam Enhancement something or other it was it was just a it was just a script that, that that's supposed to run and you're supposed to be able to like batch sell cards and for whatever reason it didn't it didn't work well so i was just like all right well fuck it i'll figure this out another time i've got like a hundred a hundred and thirty two pages of cards so that means there's what like 16 cards on each page like a bunch of those trading cards i've got like an obscene amount of those trading cards and even if they sell at like four or five cents a piece that's a lot of money i mean i could probably get you know like 20 30 bucks or something like that if i sell all those cards so 
I would I would love to to just get rid of them because I don't they're just sitting in my inventory. What the hell am I gonna do with Steam trading cards? Like seriously, what the what the hell do you do with them? They're just they're just they're just there doing nothing. So I figured, hey, sell them, get money to buy things. I was hoping like maybe I could buy a, a cyberpunk. Where are you, dude? You sound like you're behind me. Okay, you were. I couldn't tell where he went. All right, we need to go back outside. To that puzzle room? Not the All right, well, we're ditching Huey. I guess we're I guess we're ditching Huey. He'll be fine here. How do I how do I get to that room again? We got to go across the bridge. We got to go across the bridge. But, you know, anything anything towards getting, you know, cyberpunk would be pretty neat. All right, well. It sucks to be Huey. He's gone forever. All right, we go across the bridge here. And that is where... Yeah, right over here. This is it. This is where we want to go. I think? No? No. No. Where was the entrance? <laughs> what are you barking at, man? Chillax, dog. Oh, he's sad because we ditched him. My bad. I understand. I forgot that I ditched him. Uh, we gotta go up to the top here, I think. The ladder here. Is this it? I think we're on the wrong side. I think I went to the, the wrong side. 70 smackarinos, dude? 70 smackarinos? For a CSGO skin? I don't even know what the hell that is, but... Do it. <laughs> if, if you can actually sell it for that much... Oh, no! There's no ladder on this side. That's the door we need to get in right there. How did I get to that? I don't know how did I get to that? Oh, fortunately this castle isn't that big. I thought there was another entrance into that room, like a downstairs entrance. That's pretty sweet, man. If you can if you can sell that skin for 70 bucks that'd be pretty that'd be pretty keen pretty doggone keen it's not one of these doors is it like, can I get in there through here no that's just the save room uh The other door leads us to basically a dead end. Oh dear. Hey, we found dog. Look at us. You just wait long enough and there he is. Uh, this is called Haunting Ground. What's up, uh, Fenor? How you doing, homie? How goes Tuesday, dude? I hope you're doing well today. Is this it? No, that's the music room. 
Uh, it's it's a survival horror game of of sorts. We have a dog who kind of helps us out. <laughs> Fuck. My brain hurts. My brain hurts. We're gonna we're gonna find it. I swear. It's it's survival horror. You have a dog, there are people that are stalking you. That are trying to murder you for some reason. You're you're the heir to this manor, and they don't like you for some reason. I don't know why they don't like us. We haven't figured that out yet in the story. Why why they dislike us so much? But, but for whatever reason, they 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 hate my guts, and they're trying to kill me. And there's like some weird maid lady who hates us, and there's a oh a, a, a giant. A giant, a giant man who didn't like us, and then there was some like butler who's trying to help us out, and there's and there's some guy that's professing his love to us. I don't know why, but he wants our he wants our he wants our touchy bits for some reason, which we will not give them to him because he did not ask politely. Ah, here we are. Finally. Jesus. Holy guacamole. Surviving and continuing with Breath of the Wild. Man, Breath of the Wild was fun. What are you playing on? Are you doing Are you doing hero mode? Are you doing standard? Are you going 100%? Alright, now we're good. Was there another door into here? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> there was. There was. There was totally another door into here. Oh, my God. I could have gone up the fucking... Uh, well, don't I feel just a little, a little, a little bit foolish. We could have taken the spiral staircase up. I completely forgot. That reminds you. What does it remind you, Nate? You only got 50 Korok seeds to go to collect the 1,000 Korok seeds you needed? That's, that's pretty impressive, man. I think I got, like, a few hundred. And that was pretty much the extent of, of me doing things. I was like, you know what? A thousand's too many. A thousand is too damn many. Just way too fucking many oh man to get 100 percent in breath of the wild is a huge pain in the ass it's one of the few uh zelda games that i didn't 100 percent. i've 100 percented just about every other zelda game and that one i was just like no there's no fucking way this is just tedious this isn't even fun it's just tedious all right there's like mirror issues I, I read I read to see what they said on PCSX to fix that stuff and they said that there's no real fix. It's some sort of like overflow that, that causes the the discoloration of mirrors for some reason. It's not something I can I think I can take care of. The first time playing it completely blind about missions. You haven't gone to any beasts yet, just enjoying playing, trying to do the closest to one hundred percent. The seeds are a lot the seeds are uh a just dumb amount dumb amount it's impressive how much of the game that you can do before you actually have to go on doing the beasts it definitely makes exploring easier definitely makes exploring easier i will say it might it might be worth i mean you play how you want to play but it definitely makes life a lot easier i just i didn't like the idea of like having to upgrade armor so slowly because you just have to farm so many items and some of those things are like stupidly hard to difficult hard and difficult to grab like certain bugs and butterflies and lizards and stuff like that that you have to collect to to build it up and it just i mean killing killing all of the
the the Lionels and the uh, oh, what are the big Cyclops do called? Killing all of them, Hinox, the Hinoxes. Killing all of them. That's not that's not too much of a problem. That's not too much of a problem. But doing a lot of the other stuff is definitely a big, big, big pain in the ass. And yeah, I agree. The Korok seeds aren't worth it. At the end, all it does, I looked it up, and all it does is give you, like, a golden poop. What the hell are you gonna do with a goddamn golden poop? For real seeds. Like, I saw that, and I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not wasting my time collecting all of that. Like, obviously, you get a bunch of inventory spots, which is really neat. But after you, after you collect all the inventory spots it's just like well there's there's not even there, there's nothing to have after that i get why they put a thousand korok seeds in the game it makes sense when you think about it it makes sense when you're out and about exploring they want to make sure that you're going to collect korok seeds so that there's plenty out in the environment so that you can upgrade your your uh, inventory space you know for your shields your your weapons and your uh your bows that's that's nice but oh man it's just to, to get them all is so tedious recreatio completely restores lost stamina sedatio completely calms the player and returns them to a normal state so this is stuff that we can create to make uh, to do something with the medallions, but it doesn't give us recipes. It just tells us what the stuff does. I guess this is red. These ones are red. Completely calms the player and returns them to a normal state. This book sounds like it's about some kind of medicine, right? But I don't, I don't know what that actually does for us. Like it doesn't, doesn't tell me how to create the the alchemical things there is a statue clasping an oil lamp the wick of the lamp is unlit maybe we need to light it then. sometimes it's like eating pizza or a sandwich you enjoy something better to eat the less tasty part than going for the really good stuff yeah i got you yeah and that's 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 a lot of what that that zelda game is like where there's like some really interesting and fun bits but there's also a lot of like no, nothing. That was a door to nowhere. That was a door to nowhere. And so there, there was a lot about Breath of the Wild that I felt was fun, but there was a lot of it that felt like a a trial in tedium. And that's that's not exactly my kind of fun. But if you're if you're enjoying the game and you're playing and you're exploring and you're just you're having the time of your life doing it, why not have more stuff to do? You know, I, I get I get where the developers were coming from. It's just, you know, I did all the shrines. I got all the the health. I got all the stamina that you could get. You know, I I, I did about as much of the game as I really wanted to, and I spent like 150 hours in the game, and I felt like I got my money's worth out of the game for sure. I did the DLC. The DLC was probably my favorite part. I I was not the biggest fell. Oh my god. It's a woolly mammoth head. It's a severed woolly mammoth head. Who would do that? Who would do that? Dude. No, no, I wanted him to go up. Up the mammoth, up the mammoth tusk. Go, Huey. Go up the mammoth tusk. Oh, you can't. There's like a yak in there. Yakety yak. Don't talk about. A lot, a lot about Breath of the Wild. I enjoyed a lot about it. I really disliked. I did not think it was a good Zelda game. I just did not think it was a good Zelda game. But overall, the oh, you're a good boy. You're good boy. His ears were all back. It's what you mentioned to some friends that they should play it and have fun the way they feel like. That's the only way to do it. There's no wrong way to play Breath of the Wild. No wrong way. You play your way, you have fun. 
Whatever you're doing, it's your way and you're doing it. You have a full inventory with the seeds and complete the shines and improve the armor? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I did. I enjoyed what I played of it. Again, I didn't enjoy it as a Zelda game, but I enjoyed the game itself. I thought it was a very fun game, just not a great Zelda game. And I hope they make improvements on Breath of the Wild too. the stuff that, you know, like drove me nuts. I would like some actual temples rather than having four, four temples, four areas, you know, like dungeons to explore. I would like, I would like more dungeons. I shouldn't say temples since they did have temples in there. I would like, I would like more cohesive stuff because a lot of the shrines felt like they were half-baked thoughts like cool ideas just not come to fruition and if instead of like having all these one-offs they just combined all that shit together i'd be a lot happier or or just give me more dungeons and still have the shrines you know do that i'm good with that i'm good with that i like the shrines i thought they were a lot of fun some shrines were a little boring but no i don't have any i don't i don't i don't like that uh muso is that what they call them musio Musio, that that style of uh, Dynasty Warriors stuff, not my not my thing, not my thing. Those games, those games get really tiring for me. It's literally just doing the same thing over and over again. And while and while it can be cool and fun, like just destroying enemies, for me games like that get get really boring pretty quickly. So I tend not to I tend not to play those. Just, just the style of game that's just not for me. I don't, I don't give a shit about any of the prequel stuff or anything like that. The Breath of the Wild Lord does not really interest me all that much. So, no. I mean, I'll probably watch some people play it for sure, but I don't, I don't have at least right now. And maybe my mind will change because I played, I played some of the original Hyrule Warriors, and it just, it didn't do much for me. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying it didn't do much for me. It got it got really repetitive after a while, and I was just like, alright, I'm I'm good. Fortunately, I did not pay too much for it. I think I paid like 15, 20 bucks for it when I picked it up, so I wasn't too angry about it. Yeah, I, I just I hope they do make some improvements on Breath of the Wild. Go back to that maybe not you don't have to go back to the original Legend of Zelda formula, but something that that like uh, a mix between Breath of the Wild and OG Zelda would be would be great. I like the big open world. I have fun exploring through it. I like the idea of like finding your horse and stuff like that. And there are multiple steeds that you can tame. I think that's really cool. I, I, I like that. I did not like I did not like the uh, weapon system at all. To me, it. It made me want to avoid combat because the the weapons constantly break like so quickly. Like you find like a high powered weapon and you're just like, I I don't want to use this because I'm gonna need it at some point. And so it felt like I was going to avoid combat. And when I finally got the master sword, I was like, oh thank God, a weapon that can't break on me. And then they're like, it ran out of energy. And I'm like, it's a fucking sword. Is it going to shatter if you stop using it? What kind of energy are we talking about? What kind of nonsense? That made me so angry. And so the game to me, at least the way I played, made it seem like it wanted me to avoid combat. Because when I found good weapons, I didn't want to use them. And so it seemed to me that it was it was doing the opposite of what it wanted to do. And I know that the more enemies that you fought, or maybe the more dungeons that you did, there was something that you did that caused the uh, the orcs, or I forget what they were called, that have been in like every Zelda game out there, that caused them to like slowly upgrade and get better equipment and stuff like that. But it just seemed not worth it in my my opinion. There was, there was a lot to me in that game that was just like, cool idea, maybe not great on execution. Oh! This is for the crazy lady. She doesn't like her reflection. We gotta remember there's a mirror there. In your case, you stopped playing anything for around eight years and then you noticed some games. You bought Dark Souls. You haven't played it yet. However, you're looking forward to it. Dark Souls is amazing. Dark Souls is absolutely amazing, Leonor. If you like good, challenging combat, 
it's it's a lot of fun i really i really love it and if you have a ps4 i would highly recommend picking up bloodborne the the dark souls games aren't for everyone it can be frustrating at times because the the game intentionally you know tests your knowledge of how the combat system works and you're gonna die a lot in the game you're definitely gonna die a lot That's kind of the way the game is. It's it's fun. It's it's a crap ton of fun. But it's it's so fun. And I really, I really enjoy Bloodborne. If you have the opportunity, I would say play Demon Souls. Now I know they're doing a remaster of Demon's Souls. But I originally played it on the PS3. If you have a PS3, I know it's probably not that expensive. Granted, the online component. It's kind of gone, and the, the, the light and dark system is kind of gone from it. But if, if you have the opportunity to play it, even if you can't do online stuff with it, it's still worth going through. And it's it's nice to watch the series evolve from Demon Souls to Dark Souls to 2 to 3. It's fun. Bloodborne is only available on a PlayStation. Only the PlayStation. Nothing else. Only the PlayStation. It is not available on a single other system. Only the PlayStation. It will be available on the PlayStation 5, but it's just it's just for the PlayStation 4. So if you have the PlayStation 4, cool. If you don't, I mean, it's not something you have to... Maybe this is like a hiding spot? Go in there and look. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's de the games can be difficult and they can be frustrating at times, and the bosses are rough. But it it's so satisfying. Like finally overcoming that challenge, it's so good. It's so good. I hope you enjoy Dark Souls. I hope you enjoy it. I I really had fun. I don't know if you bought it on the Switch. I don't know how it plays on the Switch. I know it might have a couple of issues here and there. I heard it wasn't like beautiful on it, but it's. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. It's a great series to get into. Two, two is a little wonky. Two's a little wonky. Three's amazing. Sekiro, you bought the remastered one. I assumed it's it's on Switch. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. It. I didn't. I don't really know too much about it on the Switch. I've played it on the the Xbox 360. I played it again when when they they allowed you to play on Xbox One. And then I played it again on PC. Yeah, I played the games for Windows Live edition and that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that's going to that's not whatever. No. 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 <gasps> this isn't a doll. It's a mummy. Why'd you look at it and scare yourself? I don't like mummies. That's frightening. Blue Flame, Secret Waits. Strange title for a picture. Unless it could be some sort of hidden message. What are you barking at, dude? Biter. Oh, he found an item. What a good boy. Medallion. So you want to play something you liked when you were a kid? Doom? I haven't played the Doom 2016, but the, the original Doom was a lot of fun. Go here. Blue light, huh? Oh, it's alright. You're a good boy. You're still a good boy. 2016 looks fun. I don't know anything about Eternal. I've, I've never... I know nothing about Doom Eternal. Doesn't look interesting to me. A female is raising an oil lamp. Ah, a blue flame burns brightly from its tip. It's almost like she's guiding you deep into the painting. Oh shit, we could lead one of the blue lights to the lamp. Oh, I bet you that's what it is. That's cool. Maybe. Doom Eternal, best game you've played this year? Ah, it doesn't look interesting. I don't like those style of games. Those arena shooter type things. Just... I like, I like first-person shooters, it's just like, you get locked into a room, you have to kill like 30 fucking difficult enemies and then do it over and over and over and over again, and I don't know. I'd rather do a looter shooter than 
than an arena shooter something like serious sam or something like that it's fun for a little while but after a while for me it kind of like loses its i don't know je ne sais quoi its charm it just seems to become repetitive after that all right i guess that's what we do we go get the lamp let's go do it get scared all the time about wolfenstein doom 1 and 2 back in the 90s dude man yeah I loved I loved Castle Wolfenstein. That was the first first person shooter I ever played. It was a great one. Looks like the entry of a Mario 64 level. Arena shooters, it's the shooter you grew up on until Halo and all that. Yeah, that's fair. I mean that's fair. That's fair. I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna diminish anyone's like of something like that. I mean if that's the shit that you enjoy, then by all means enjoy it. Hell yeah, more power to you. Now I'm saying, now I mean. Alright, I guess we're gonna wait on the blue orb. Alright. Blue orb is a coming. I think we gotta go into this room. Yeah, dude. And... Ha-ha! Genius! Genius, I tells you. Genius. That was really cool. That was really cool. You just want to play Cyberpunk. So do I, man. I'm excited for it. I'm definitely excited for it. it I, I bet you... I, I have... I think we've talked about it before on stream. I have enjoyed just about everything CD Projekt Red has put out. I enjoyed the Witcher series. It's one of my favorite game series of all time. I have very little doubt that they are going to how do I how do I phrase it little doubt they're, they're gonna do well they're gonna do well it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be well done and they they've delayed it and delayed it and delayed it to make sure that they are polishing the game up to be something incredible I think I think that we're gonna get something very very keen from from CD Projekt Red in Cyberpunk. Indeed. What's up, Teak? How goes life, homie? Happy Tuesday. Happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing well, man. I hope Final Fantasy IV treated you well. The ones that made you change the way you see games were Tomb Raider, the original ones. They were hard and satisfying. I did enjoy the original Tomb Raider games. Those were very difficult and satisfying. Talk about tank controls, man. The original Tomb Raider and its fucking terrible control scheme. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, it was so fun. Those those games were great. You really felt like, you know, Indiana Jones. They were so cool. Got a new boat, took it to the moon. Hell yeah, man. Fly me to the moon and let me play amongst the stars. Let me see what life is like on Jupiter Mars. In other words, please be true. Damn it. Final Fantasy IV is a lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. Goofy as hell. You get to go to Middle Earth and into outer space, man. Fucking nuts. Yeah. Uh, I played... I enjoyed the new Tomb Raider series. The, the new series that they came out was a lot of fun the the tomb raider and rise of tomb raider and i i enjoyed those i didn't play shadow yet that is that is on the list of games to play but the ones that i played i enjoyed i enjoyed tomb raider anniversary the remake of one that was that was that was a whole lot of fun tons of fun the the series kind of got samesy after i think it was four the one on the dreamcast whichever one was the one that came out on the dreamcast I was just like, all right, yeah, no, I'm I'm good with Tomb Raider. It was after three. I think it was four that was on the Dreamcast, and I was like, yeah. Angel of Darkness was horrid. 
not horrid is not the right way. It just, it wasn't as good as the other ones. What are you growling at? Oh! She be in there. She be in there. The crazy maidsy. That's not good. She She's all up in there. Yeah, well, I guess we're going to have to find our way in there somehow. She's going to murder us, for sure. That's what she does. Oh, is that a clock? It is! Cool. Alright, well then, let's save then. Hell yeah. I don't know where the hell we are. We're in something. Last Revelation is a jewel, then it came Chronicles, but it was short but good. After that, something happened. Yeah, whatever whatever 3 was, I guess Chronicles was 4. I remember Tomb Raider Chronicles, and it was kind of like a, like, greatest hits. It was like Hitman Blood Money, I think it was, which, like, had you replay, like, a bunch of, like, the other Hitman games. It was just like, hey, we're gonna go back and revisit some of these, like, older things that we've already done before. But you get to explore Croft Manor. Oh, Mansion Sketch. So we got a... A map, huh? Hand-drawn sketch labeled Belly Mansion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. It's got three floors? Wait. Belly Castle. Old Mansion. It's got a basement. It's got a first floor. It's got a second floor. It's got a third floor. It's got four floors. It's too many. Yeah, I think after... I think I played whatever Tomb Raider 4 was, whatever the fourth game in the series was, that's where I was just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done. I played some here and there, but I really didn't. It, it did not seem to have that fun that they had before. I, I hope that we get more Tomb Raider games, though. Locked from the other side. Alright. This is way bigger than the last one. Why is why is the mansion bigger than the castle? Actually, let's go open up the door in this room. Since we know the stabby the stabby maid is right here. Oh, we can go in there. Sweet. Oh, it's another one of those typewriters that uh all right, that's a hiding place that give us glyphs. Don't write farty arty. Open the blinds? Hell yeah. Should have not opened the blinds. It was a mistake. What's out there? I can't see. It's a fucked up television. It's a coelacanth? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh-oh. Stabby lady. Why was there a coelacanth outside a window? Uh, uh, uh! Run! Run for freedom! Oh my god. What? You son of a bitch! Oh, we're gonna run into all the walls. Run! Yeah. 
I can't do it. Dude, did she walk through? I have to get away. I don't have time for this. What the fuck are you talking about? Hide! You has to hide! Where can we hide? Hide under the pizza! Uh-oh. No, don't close the fucking door, you idiot! You close it from the inside! Alright, I got a plan. Get her. <laughs> oh, you slapped me. <laughs> Get her, Huey. <laughs> we die. Because the game cheated. The game cheated! You all saw it. It cheated. Chronicles, it was the people thought that Laura Croft died in Egypt and people were telling stories, adventures of her at the... Okay, you can stop laughing now. At the end, they show Laura back again after the one gaming in the story didn't... Yeah, yeah. It was it was rough. It was rough. What was it called? Tomb Tomb Raider Tomb Tomb Tomba 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 Raideru Raideru Tomb Raider. Not the movie series. Why would I want the movie series? In what way would I want the fucking movie se series? Ugh. 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 No one wants that. No one wants that. Ugh. Angelina Jolie was... She might be an okay actress. Screw that. The Last Revelation, that's what it was. The Last Revelation was the one that I was just like, yeah, this isn't fun. That was it. I did not like The Last Revelation. That's where I was like, okay, I think I'm out of this. Or maybe it was Chronicles. It may have been Chronicles. Chronicles is the one... Yeah, it must have been Chronicles. Chronicles was the one that I played on the Dreamcast. Last Revelation was not good, though. Last Revelation was not good. Maybe that was the one I played I own that. Yeah, maybe that's the one I played on Dreamcast. What's up, Merc? How you doing, dude? Uh, I died. <laughs> that's what you missed. I died. I died. I also figured out how to get the item on the pillar. You just you just sent Huey over and he jumped onto the pillar. It was really cool. We also figured out what to do with the key. Uh, one of the one of the stalls. One of the stalls. Uh, you could you could open up and we got some metal boots. So we're walking around in metal boots now. They're used for kicking things. Apparently. Is the water safe to drink? Yeah, I really I really thought. I went back. I know we got we got here at the end of the stream yesterday, but I was like, you know what? I want to go back and try because we never we never actually tried. So I wanted to, I wanted to give it the old college try. Huh? What's this? This was we find antimony. Alright, so what is this? The three spiritual substances. A strange jumble of letters and numbers. I wonder if the title holds some deeper underlying meaning. This is like a fucking puzzle. Mercury, cadmium. Salt. What? 
spiritual substances? Scoochie! <laughs> Scoochie! Scoochie! One, two, three, four. One. Scoochie. Scoochie is a, a, a spiritual substance. One odium, one odium. Saltine like crackers. Xenon. Not streaming tonight, huh? Well, yeah, sometimes you gotta take a break. I usually take one or two days off during the during the week. I like taking Sunday off. But sometimes Tuesday is a day off too, depending on how late I get done with trivia. You gotta you gotta rest your mind every once in a while. I know there are some people that I watch that stream every day of the week. I, I tip my hat to them. They are they are impressive people. I can I can do five or six days and be fine. Any more than that, man. You got you gotta have some brain time, man. We see sulfur. What are we looking for? Tar? What am I what are we trying to do here? There's something here. So there's there's all these numbers. Like, if you look at the far left side, there's a 1141170. But then if you look at the top row, there's two ones in certain rows. I don't know what they're trying to tell me there. But there, but there are a bunch of elements, at least, on here. I don't think saltine is an element. No, <laughs> I don't think saltine is one. But sulfur is, xenon is, mercury and cadmium are. I wonder I wonder what the I wonder what the numbers mean. Trying to figure out where stuff is in a Resident Evil and backtracking, you need at least a day break from the backtracking. That wasn't too bad. What did what did it take? It took me three days? To get through zero? I mean, that's not too bad. It was about, like, 12 or 13 hours or something like that. Maybe 15, something like that. Somewhere somewhere below 15. Trachea. Trachea. trying to see if any of them were backwards I don't what's a spiritual substance what the hell's a spiritual substance deeper underlying meaning it probably does it seems like something's gonna come out from here that's like a little bathtub or something like that tub is full of stagnating reddish water it's probably just rust discoloration unless the red color is coming from something else what could that something else be is it a butthole is it a butthole sometimes red comes from the butt no we don't need that we don't need that just drink toilet water drink Ovaltine Three spiritual substances. Three? The numbers definitely mean something. Maybe it doesn't mean anything yet. Maybe, uh... No. No. That's just... That's just... Uh, no. <laughs> that's just... A, that's a big no. Uh, yeah, maybe we're going to need something to help us kind of, maybe we'll get like a note or something else that'll help me figure that out. Because as of right now, I'm not entirely sure what any of that could mean. All right, well, let's open the blinds. We'll skip the cutscene with the coelacanth, even though that was really cool. We've got this crazy lady trying to stab me. Let's just go. 
Go, 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 Inspector Gadget. Elongate butthole. Did it! Stay away, Huey. She likes to kick things. Why are you doing that, Huey? Yeah. Just let her go, man. Just don't mess with the crazy lady. She's flipping nuts, man. Oh, right. It's a, there's, there's nothing there. She got bit and said, I'm out. Peace. What the fuck? She's back. Like dinosaurs. It's a dinosaur's tail. Uh huh. Where do we hide? Where do I hide? That's not a hiding spot. I got it. I have to get away. Hide in the fucking hole that she can't go in. Jesus Christ. Fine. We'll open up the fucking mirror. Yeah. Huh. Huey. Get her. Huey. Huey. Yeah. Yeah. Huey. <laughs> Huey. She's got us. Huey. Huey! What the fuck is wrong with Huey, biter? You don't need something better than a piece of glass. It's good for stabbing. I mean, if it works, it works. Um... So this is impossible. This is impossible. I actually don't know where we need to go next. I think maybe we have to solve this puzzle here. I don't know how we would solve the puzzle. It said before, like, I could hide under here. Right? But the last time when she found... Oh, yeah, Huey just dipped on us. He went dipping. He went dipping through the streets. He was like, peace, motherfucker. I'm not dealing with this crazy person. I'm not dealing with this crazy person. You have fun. Bye, Felicia. He bought Felicia the hell out of us. Oh, well, this isn't good. There's a carousel inside the house. You know no carousel's good. What's in the mirror? Good boy. All right, well, pet pet Huey first. Better 
Thanks for the 10 bits. I wonder why an alert didn't go off. Earthworm Jim has retired. Apparently. Oh. Glowing sun, radiant star, luminescent moonlight. What? It says moonlit, sun, star, moonlit. What? Thanks for the 10 bits, Duke. I don't know why, uh... I don't know why Jim decided not to, like, speak up there. Where, where are... Oh. What do I know? What do I know? Sometimes things happen, sometimes they don't. Whatever. Jim did bail on my ass. He's a he's a fucking punk. Where? I mean it happened. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I replay it, there's a zombie. Why the fuck is there a zombie there? I don't got time for this right now, but it looks like I got to go like fix. Fix the bit alert. Why <laughs> is there a fucking zombie there? I haven't used that before. All right. So what do we suppose this means? Artemis geology. Rococo. Asunta, ass unta, meddled, chariot, sprites. Glowing sun, radiant star, moonlit sky. The words from the title are highlighted in red. It's probably got something to do with what we saw earlier. Jesus Christ, that scared the bejesus out of me. There's a doll here as well. It feels like they're watching... Well, that was bad. It's really creeping me out. It's creeping me out too, man. No, this is good. Feels like they're watching me or something. Right? The fuck? Kick them. Kick the dolls. Nope. Advertising Sprite in this game getting sneak Sprite. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on the scary dragon room with the Hydra. Aha! The Jukes! Whoops. It's not how you kick things. Oh, there's something there. Get it, Huey. It's gonna explode. Rub rum. Rub rum. What? <laughs> Rub rum. Uh, it looks like the lady's not gonna stab us unless we go use the, uh, the shade. So we might as well just, like, explore while we have the chance. Gotta quench that thirst. For blood. Unlock the door. Gotta get away, I don't have time for this. No! Get away! Four! What the hell? I don't- I know how to count! Do 
dude just got like a sword. Yeah. Torn letter. Great. No, run. Uh oh, spagooters. Ha! The jukes! Just get the fuck away. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bad music. Oh, we ain't done. You better hide under that fucking couch. Uh, the blue orb is something that will follow you around, and if if it hits you, it kind of lets out like a ring, and it lets it lets the enemy know that you're nearby, and they will if there if there is an enemy nearby, they'll be summoned to you. So it's bad, it's bad. You do not want the blue orb thing to hit you. Definitely do not want the blue orb thing to hit you. It eventually will go away. And we actually had to use the blue orb to light a... To light a lantern. And it actually opened up a pathway for us. Which was pretty cool. Are we good? I'm sorry, Huey. You're a good boy. Huey's a good boy. boy. Huey's a good boy. boy. Just pet his freaking face, man! Huey. Uh, yeah, in Snitches Get Stitches. And by the snitches, I mean me. I get all the stitches. Apparently the stitches are meant for me. Alright. Well, let's go, let's go explore over there. Alright, and there's the orb. So we just need to stay away from it. Now, the plus side of the orb is that... If I lock the door, the orb can't find us. Come on. So, shut the door. Orb can't find me. What are you barking at? All right, let's look at that letter. Rub rum a dot. Wait, where's the letter? Ah, now we use the mansion sketch. All right, but we we got like a torn torn letter. Dearest Fiona, I write this in hopes that you have made it this far. Speak the proper words to the three-headed dragon personifying fire. Words. Doing so will calm the blazing flame, which incinerate all, and show you the way. The words themselves are the name of spiritual essence. It is what we call... The memo is torn off here. Do we think... I mean, I learned some, right? Three-headed monster, is this some kind of dragon? His wide open mouth is very unsettling. Do you think that there's like a slot somewhere that we can give a moonlight, sun, and star to? A statue grasping firmly onto an oil lamp. I know I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, uh, we might need to, uh... I might need to bring a blue orb into here. It might be what we need to do. So don't go running into that. It's probably death.
It said speak them. Speak the words! The words, woman, the words! Alright, well, let's see about getting this blue orb into here. Where are you at? I don't want to run into the fucking thing. <gasps> it's right there! Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can lead the orb into the room over here and bring it bring it verily and thusily over to this oh please oh you piece of shit god damn it You knew it was gonna happen! You knew it was gonna happen! Oh, it's another one! I don't know where to go. Still following. No, it didn't work out as planned at all. Not even a little bit. The fucking blue orb was supposed to go into the goddamn oil lamp. But it was just like, nah, B, that's not where I want to be. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my feelings, <laughs> please. I don't know how long we've got to stay in here. With with the big dude, with the Bilita, at least it, it was like, oh, yeah, he's gone. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Not only am I stuck in this creepy castle, but now I've been shut in some place that isn't even on any map. I have a bad feeling about this. What? It's that weird maid again. She keeps staring at herself in the mirror like she hates herself or something. I can't see why. Her skin, her eyes, her body. They all look too fi fine to me. Oh, well. Blame society, I guess. I don't know, man. Speak the proper words to the three-headed dragon personifying fire. Doing so will calm the blazing flames, which incinerate all. Words themselves are the name of the spiritual essence. That was, that was the three. It was sun and... Moonlight, moon, moonlit, and star. You're fucking kidding me. Where'd she come from? Right here. Ow! Haha, yeah. <laughs> gut kick. Yeah. Uh oh. No, Huey, get her. Who the fuck is Yui? Ow, don't slap. Ow, don't step. Oh, God, we're done. Yui! <laughs> please stop. Please stop. Dude, she is just incessant. She just wants to hunt my sorry ass down over and over and over. Oh my goodness.
There's no getting away from her. All right, maybe we could try this blue orb thing again. <laughs> I, I think a little poop. I think I think I think a little poop squirted out there. Hi oh. Come on. Fuck are you, Huey? Also, where's Orb? All right, Orb. You've got to go into statue. I did it. Huh? I did it though. I'm amazing. Film reel. We did it though. We did it. A wound roll of film that has already been exposed. I wonder what it's about. Oh, exposed. Eh? I can't use this here. You will use it here and you'll like it. What the fuck? Is there a light there before? Hell yeah. I didn't know that that would open. Aww. The path is obstructed by water. I can't get through. Yes, I see. <laughs> I see. I see. There is, there is lots of water. The right path leads to the truth. Whilst, whilst the left path leads to deception. When the shroud of deception is lifted, the fog will fade and the hidden path will make itself known. O oh, ye faithful flock, right these wrongs. If three truths exist, it must be so that three lies also exist. What the fuck? Probably be cleaner that the smudge key was up to... Oh, but see, Debilitus, no, he was just... He was just a little simple, that's all. He's not a bad guy. Uh, he didn't store it in his booty hole. He just, it was dirty because it was stored in the bathroom. Or possibly in his booty hole. I don't know. There's a giant moose head. Holy fucking shit. I didn't notice that before. Look at that huge moose. The moose is loose. I think we're looking at ourselves in the mirror, but not. That horse to the right, that horse to the right looks all kinds of jacked up. I don't like this room. I would very much like to not be in it. Stop growling, dude. It's not helping anything. She's not over there anymore. Okay, we found her. I really don't know how to get rid of her. His name shall be Bullwinkle. Uh. I don't know, Rocky. I used to be able to do Bullwinkle's voice. I haven't heard Bullwinkle's voice in fucking... 20 years? I don't I don't know how Bullwinkle's supposed to sound. Hey Rocky! Watch me pull a rabbit out of my head. And something like that. Close the fucking door! She'll never find me out here. You 
Juan or Devanish just ask her for a second date usually works for you. Damn, dude, that's a burn on you. That's a burn on you. Don't burn on you. I would go out with you a second time, T. Trust me, it's on the newer Geico commercial. Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my head. My buddy used to have a, uh, this was, this was when we were kids. He was the rich kid that I knew, and, uh, oh. No! Oh. Dude, she just wrecked shop. Dude, what are you doing? Dog, what are you doing? Freedom! Ow! Uh oh. oh. Get up. Get up. Get your ass up! Stop! Oh, well, we're dead again. We're so dead. We're we're so dead. It's a wall. Oh, it's another wall. Get up! Get her, Yui! She's limping! Oh yeah! Dude, we fucked her up! Dude, we fucked her up. <gasps> She's still alive! We kicked her ass, though. Run! What the fuck? <laughs> we knocked her unconscious. I have no idea where we can hide. No freaking idea. We hide in the bathroom? No, you can't hide in the bathroom. It's like two goddamn places to hide.
I mean, we beat the shit out of her. That was pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna try something here. I'm gonna type in those three words. It was sun, moonlight, and star. Right? Sun, moonlight, and star. And then I guess we'll offer those things up. Hold on. Where were the where was sun, moonlight, and star? Z non ru Mercury Frat Teen Ra 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 Adu Mercury Kra Adu Saltine Tar Rand Salt Tar Three spiritual substances. I'm trying to figure out where the lines were. No, no, but th there's something to do. Three substances. Salt, tar. They went together. But... Salt, tar, mercury? There, there was something... Something with... Oh, we should bring her in there. See, there's something here. I was trying to line those up with this. Okay, so here we go. Maybe? I don't know. So here we are. So this is kind of giving us a clue. So there's... If you look on the far right where it says at the top, it has two zeros. This is telling us how to solve the puzzle. There's one... There's... And then there's seven. So in that line, all seven of those are used. If you look one to the left... It's, there's only one letter used, and so it's all the way down, it's the U. If you look in, in the line left of that where it says four, you go all the way down, and it says that there are four letters used. So this is giving me an idea of how to solve the puzzle. This is giving me an idea of how to solve this puzzle. That's what this is showing me. That's what this is showing me is how to solve the puzzle. So now we need to go back into the other room and and go from there so over here we've got we've got six right so we've got sulfur to go down right we've got sulfur we have mercury and we have salt. Salt, mercury, and sulfur. Right? Oh, like you said. Yeah, salt, mercury, and sulfur. That's what it is. Salt, mercury, and sulfur.
Now, what I do with that, I don't fucking know. But we know the three substances, so maybe we type out salt, mercury, and sulfur into this? Salt. Mercury. Mercury. And then we'll get so sulfur. Salt, mercury, and sulfur. I thought, I guess that's a tub. Alright, so maybe... Maybe this is right? And it said, say the three... The three words in front of big ol' dragon face, right? So let's use whoops, not 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 kick. Assault. Got Mercury. I don't know how we do sulfur. Darn it, I'm just not tall enough. If only Huey were here, I bet he'd be doable. Come on. I love my grandma. What's up, homie? How you doing, dude? Happy Tuesday, man. Who the fuck is Come Huey? On. Every time I need him. Come on. I hear him. There we go. Come on, buddy. Yep, come on. Alright, I've got a job for you. This is so cool. This is definitely so neat. Demons. Demons today. I got a floss. I think I got some lamb chops stuck in my teeth. Wild few days, but you guess everything is okay? Good. I hope everything is okay, man. <laughs> I love Huey. What? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Best boy. Sam! What's up, Sam? That jump was totally a 10 out of 10. How you, how's it go, man? How's, how's, uh, how's Tuesday? The flame has been frozen in place, creating a crystalline ice pillar. This could be my way up. I mean, yeah. It's, it's a fucking climate. Why would we not? If it's a pillar, it must be climbed. We're somewhere now. We're doing stuff. There's no way she's upstairs. Something is written here. The grand refining process can also yield several precarious items as well. I have listed several below. Carbo depletes a small amount of stamina. Nigrid depletes a large amount of stamina. I have that one. I have Nigrid. 
wonder what these combinations are supposed to mean. I have that. I have Nigrid. I don't know why, but we created it. I'm scared. Yep, I'm scared something's written here. Some combinations can be used to aid animals as well. Here are a few. Eska slightly restores an animal's lost stamina. Sylvesta Eska awakens an animal's true inner strength. Well, then we need that inner strength. I need inner strength. For God's sake. Oh, Huey can't climb. There's a rusty stepladder up here. It really is in bad shape. If I were to try climbing this, it would fall apart for sure. So we need Huey. Oh, ho, oh, ho, ho. What does one have back here? Mountains of books have been piled up here. Are these journals? February 8th, 1784. That was at least five years ago. I have decided to summon that renowned master alchemist to the castle. There is talk that the Count has used a technique known as the dry method. Don't ever try the dry method. No one likes the dry method. Always go with the well-lubricated method. Always go with the well-lubricated method. Not dry. To obtain eternal life. Remember, guys, lubricate your O-rings. Remember to lubricate your O-rings. And I know that sounds dirty, but it's not actually dirty. Just lube up your O-rings. Some may consider it sacrilege, but with the Lord's thankless cooperation, I will base my research off of any findings obtained through their generous sacrifices. November 16th, 1822. What was that, like 40 years later? 38. 38 years later. Right? I don't recall what the year was before it. Eternal life obtained through the power of the dry method seems to carry no side effects. As it stands, the Lord is showing no effects of aging. Even though his skin is cracked, his flesh rotten, and his entrails liquefied, it appears that death will not be visiting him anytime soon. That's as good as dead, though, right? However, I will carry on with my research. After all, in my case, time actually is on my side. May 2nd, 1898. What the foop? Okay, that is 66 years later. That's a, that's a long time. The eternal life brought forth from the power of the dry method is not bound by time, no spiritual energies. However, it is not enough to fully realize my dreams. Any research beyond this point will be meaningless without the sacred Azoth. December 29th, 1944. My interest towards my dry method research is waning, but I shall write its formula as well as the results of my research here. A group of followers and I have calmed the four flames which symbolize the basic elements. Thusly, the alchemic chain has been ruptured and the spirit has been eternally freed from the body. A group, the, the, the red is what's important here, a group of followers and I have calmed the four flames which symbolize the basic elements. What do we got? Earth, wind, fire, water? That, for, for now, that is not helpful at all. The dates on these journals are just too spread out for the same man to have written them all. What could it mean? All right, I, maybe that goes into like our... I don't know if we need that, but no, it doesn't. Why wouldn't... Take the fucking journal. Just take the journal. You've taken everything else in the goddamn house. What an incredible number of books. All right, there's no way that she's upstairs, right? There's no way that she's upstairs. It's impassable. Oh! Huey. 
I don't hear him. I'm scared to keep looking because we're gonna find the Come evil on. lady. He sounded nearby. None of this is good. Come on. Where the fuck is he? Uh. Well, we found the enemy. Hubert. No, Huey. This way. Huey Lewis, don't forget the news. Actually, hold up. I want to bring her into the carousel room. Ah, oh, shit. I want to bring her in there. Oh, okay, she coming. She's gonna hate it in here. What the fuck? Why do you not hate it in here? Is this not a mirror? Shitty diapers! Oh god, I've made a terrible mistake. Haha! -ha. I juked you. I went left when you thought I was gonna go right. What the hell, man? What is up with that room? Uh, no, 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 no! Uh oh. It's fucking impossible! No! Shoo! Shoo, woman, shoo! Don't attack, Huey. Don't attack. Isn't that direction I want to go in? <laughs> Isn't that the direction I want to go in? Or she's still somewhere around. No. Huey, stop! She's gonna beat the fuck out of you! So if you kneel down in a hiding spot while she's around, it'll show you where they are. God, just come on, Huey. Good boy. Come on. Yeah, no, fuck that. We need to go this way, homie. I really thought there was a mirror in the carousel. 
But there was not. That is not what I expected to happen. You... Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? We're going on a walk. Walk, walk, park, walk, walk, park, walk. All right, let's see if Huey can do it. Go, Huey. Walk, park, walk. What? Go fucking up there, dude! You're magical! Go, Huey. What? He just looked right up it! So you go, go up it. Go up the rusty ladder for me, Huey. He just looks right at it and he's just like, nah, B. I ain't going up that shit. You can't make me. You can't make me, son. So bring the fucking ladder down. That's how you do it. Shake it till you make it. Wait, it's fake it till you make it. Shake it till you make it. Do it, Huey. Go up the damn ladder. He looks right at that shit and he goes, no. If I shake it a bit, what if we kick it? Oh, that's how we become geniuses. The Jupiter key. Where's Jupiter? It's a planet. What the fuck? Uh, alright. Oh, it's got the four. Now we can go find the lies and the truth, right? A tin forged key with a symbol four carved into it. This symbol means Jupiter. Alright, so from now on, we know that that's the Jupiter symbol. We've got this Neato Bandito film reel. Every chance I get, we're freaking saving. Every chance! Because this crazy lady is going to stab us to death. She is much more frightening than Debilitas. Debilitas was like, alright, yeah, I mean, he's kind of chasing us around, but we can get away from him. Her? 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 The crazy maidsy lady? I don't know what to do with her. Alright, so... I think the quickest way is to go this way. I guess we didn't need to bring Huey up here. Sorry, dude, we're abandoning you. Yup. My bads. All my bads. All right, so down here, it said to the right, the right path leads to the truth, whilst the left path leads to deception. I don't know how they mean right and left, but I'm assuming it's head on. When the shroud of deception is lifted, the fog will fade and the hidden path will make itself known. So I think that means we have to go down the deception path, right? O oh, ye faithful flock, right these wrongs. If three truths exist, it must be so that three lies exist. So it, I think it said to right the wrongs. So I think that means to go down the wrong path. If if I'm if I'm correct. I could be very wrong. I'm also an idiot. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, what you doing? Ha <laughs> I... ha <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. That was a fucking mistake. It was a fucking mistake. Jesus Christ, was that a mistake? God. Oh God. Oh God. She's got. She's got a fire poker. She's got a Bram Stoker. Oh, I found Huey! Get the fuck away from her! She's got a murder stick, dude! We did it! <laughs> She's got the hots for me! I don't think that's what you mean! She's got a yearning for a burning. She's got a burning for a yearning? The yearns they burns, and she wants us. The fuck! How in the screen wrap did you ever find me in there? I'm gonna make you into a bomb sandwich. Uh oh, uh oh, dude, just go in direction. Still can't believe there's not a fucking mirror in here. It looks like a goddamn mirror. She's so fast. She's like Flash Gordon, the hero of the. Oh, there we go. I see the mirror. Alright, we'll wait for her to come in here. Then throw the old oak. Oh my god! Let go! Let go! <laughs> no! How do you not have time to do that? Ow! Ow! Where can we hide? Where are the heffalumps? What the screeping banana? The screeping? The screeping bananas? That's not even a word. I have to get away. I don't have time to use a fucking key to open a door. We should have never talked to her. Rutabagas. <laughs> fucking rutabagas, man. Who knows where she went? There are models and there are accompanying sketches. I haven't seen any of these bugs before in my life. 
A chessboard, here of all places. Guess they use this to take their mind off things. Oh god. There's a flask. I wonder what kind of fluid is inside. That's not good. The more sounds he makes, the worse off we are. A pair of creepy wasp figures. These things aren't going to come to life like in the movies, right? They come to life in movies? What? What movies? A device for distilling things. Not helpful. An industrial sized kiln. It burns fiery hot. Yeah, the more he growls, the badder, the badder, the batters. A massive hourglass. Turning this over would be quite a task. <laughs> Why? I guess we weren't supposed to come in here. There's nothing in here. Other than the chess set. Maybe it means something? I don't think it's checkmate. The, the the king can the white king can go up up one spot towards the uh, knight I was I was thinking maybe there was something we needed to know about that but maybe not nothing here all right I guess we'll go back down to the other side. I really thought that was going to be, like, the way to go. One of these things is not like the other. There are models and there are accompanying sketches. I haven't seen any of these bugs before in my entire life. Search more thoroughly, yeah. Uh, oh... There's a flask. I wonder what kind of liquid is inside. Search more thoroughly. So there's differences. Three things are lies. A chessboard here of all places. This one's different. Something just move? Yes. A pair of creepy wax figures. These things aren't going to come to life like in the movie. This is different too. On the hourglass. Yep. We did it. I'm a genius. I'm a veritable master of the mind. I've got one brain wrinkle. I've got a brain wrinkle. Who'd have thunk it? All right, so something happened. We got some vibranium. What do you think moved? 
I'm going to save. Because we don't know when that crazy lady's going to pop back up. I wonder what I wonder what moved. Tis be exciting. Let's check out this. Help! Help! Why would someone intentionally paint these completely red? I don't know. It's sadistic. Something smells like something living. Certainly, that is really just red paint and not... I just have to try not to think about it. If I do that, I should be fine. What the fuck? Why are you smelling it? Why the fuck are you smelling it? What is wrong with you? Okay. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I don't know how that works. How did we end up in a different room? Science! <laughs> Do you think we should talk to her? <laughs> Hey. Miss Fiona. Oh my, what a filthy little princess. A small present from the Lord of the Manor. What? <laughs> You've obtained Hebel's perfume. Dude, she's like bipolar. Like she's got ups, she's got downs. A perfume made from the extracted essence of the Hebel flower. It hardly has a discernible odor. Can't use this here. Huh. Judging from the size and shape, there is probably a statue under there, but I probably shouldn't snoop. Why were we allowed to, like, interact with her here? And she wouldn't murder us. Miss, it's cleaning time. She actually talked. Right, well. Back out we go. <laughs> Back out. Oh, we'll close the door. It really does look like a mirror. Maybe it's just glass. Maybe that's what's in between them, is just glass. I don't know how this room works. It's really fucking confusing. That's for sure. Let's just close the door. We got... We got a fucking... Thing of perfume? It seemed like possibly three things moved, right? We did three different things. So three things may have changed. All right, that's definitely locked. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. You're the best. Everyone likes you, including me. Oh, shit. We did do something. We did a bunch of crunch of something. 
Uh oh. Joint. Beef jerky. There's multiples. It's more than one. It's two. I don't like it. Looks to be a mausoleum. There are words written here. Well, that's hitting me. Dead spirit craving for life, crawling back from the underworld. Maybe it doesn't do anything when you're reading. Sip of the fresh flowing lifeblood. When your thirst is quenched, return to the darkness from whence you came. Dead spirit craving for life, crawling back to from the underworld. Sip of the fresh flowing lifeblood? First of all, uh. When your thirst is quenched, return to the darkness from whence you came. What? It's too dark to see. It looks like there could be something in the back. Focus your eyesight on the object. Yeah, sure. <gasps> uh! Doesn't seem too terribly dangerous, but I get the feeling that if I just go around poking my hands in places they shouldn't be, I could be sucked right on in. Huey! Oh, Huey! <laughs> Huey! You've got, you've got good eyesight. Go, Huey. No, you go in there. Alright, well, we don't use the perfume. Don't you? All right, none of none of that is what we use there, but it is saying like, "Come on in, everything's fine." Whoever wants some Tylenol PM? Wait, <laughs> what? Whoever swallows the most Tylenol PMs wins. Mm hmm, that's gonna feel good for Jesse. Mm hmm, spirits, lifeblood, no matter how you cut it. These don't sound like the words of uh, rest spoken to the dearly departed. Indubitably. Indubitably. Alright, that's coming for me, right? But here's the secret. If I go and read... It does hurt. Uh oh. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> we're fucked. She's got her poker still. P -p 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 poker face. P -p poker face. Goddamn Lady Gaga over here. Why is she so fast? She's Usain Bolt, Jesus Christ! Fucking training for the goddamn Olympics! Chill, woman. <laughs> oh, it's capital B-A-D. It's not lowercase B-A-D. It's all the B-A-D. She's on me like... She's... Goddamn Terminator. Uh-oh. Idiot! You were supposed to shank me! Ah! Huey! 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 Fucking Huey, get her! Huey, bite her dick! Bite something! She probably doesn't have a penis! Uh oh!
Bite her boob! Bite her ankle! Bite her calf! Bite her mouth! Bite something, Huey! I made a boo-boo. That was a good, that was a good Herbert impersonation. I fucking hate Family Guy with a passion, but they, it has its moments from time to time. Not, not, not my cup of tea of a TV show. I had a friend who liked to, to quote Herbert the pervert. It's the only reason why I know some of the lines that he has. <laughs> some of some fucked up shit. Alright, uh, that went bad. That went, that went bad. All right, what else could have shifted? It said three things moved. Maybe this door? Yo, it actually is a thing now. <laughs> Peekaboo! I see. What the hell? It's so weird. Why is that statue just popping around the corner like that? Oh shit! Are we in an M.C. Escher painting? Oh fuck! No. No! 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 I know, man. The mummy freaks me out too, dude. I guess we can try something up here. Can we give her... <laughs> you, can't, you can't give the dead chick a necklace. Figures. I was just trying to be nice and share. It did say it was something to do with plants, right? I thought maybe, maybe in here in this like little arboretum that has palm trees, the arboretum with palm trees, the palm -boretum. Its head keeps turning. Its head keeps fucking turning. Every time we go in, the head's in a different direction. That's not good. Close the door here just in case. Can we burn the dolls with fire? If only. If. Oh. What? Guess we'll save. <laughs> what? <laughs> we, we made a loop de loo. A loopity boopity. <gasps> Fucked. I just ran mouth first into that thing. What was it? It's a manticore? Sylvester Esca? Dude, I'm, I want to burn the dolls with fire, please. A stuffed chimera is showing off its fierce gaze. Why would anyone ever decorate a room with something so hideous? Oh, it's a chimera? I thought it was a manticore. What the hell's a manticore? Did I just make that word up? I'm pretty sure that's some sort of mythical demonic animal. Alright, no. Where's the... Alright, well, there's something else we've got to do. 
It gave me, it gave me what? A hamburger? Make a dog angry and raise their attack power. I mean, that's nice and all, but I don't want that. A lion dragon? I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, yeah, it does. It is something with a lion. It is something with a lion. You're right. It has a snake tail. A manacore has a snake tail. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure a manticore has a snake tail. I don't know what its back half is, but you're right. The front half is a lion. I thought it had multiple heads, though. I really wish we could investigate this weird statue thing. I love it. It's so strange, though. Hmm... What else is there to do? See, the head moved. Why in the world is this here? See, it's looking the other way. It's looking to the left. Freaky deaky. Oh, we can't get back to the entrance. By going that way. This is the only way to do it. A bronze statue with a cow-like head. My Greek mythology is kind of rusty. I think this is a minotaur. Dude, Huey. Let's just close the door here. Uh, dillweed. Naughty word of the day is dillweed. Don't be a dillweed, man. That was that was that was our way as kids getting by, saying dickweed. I don't know why dillweed was the the swear word there that we used, but dillweed, man. Dillweed. Don't be a dillweed. We couldn't say dick, so we said dill. I don't know why we chose an herb. I have no idea why we chose a herb. But we did. Water's flowing in. Guess there's no going back. Oh, I thought that would have changed. Okay. Don't be a dillweed. Floor has collapsed, but I literally just crossed through here seconds ago. Hmm. Come on. Hmm. Oh God! Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Don't run back towards her. She just threw a haymaker in our face and licked her fucking hot poker. Oh, she scared the fucking shit out of me. I love how she closes... It's not fair, she closes all the doors when she comes scooting through. I don't know where I am. I'm lost! <laughs> Everything's fine. Run, Fiona! Perfect. Yup, keep running. 
We're doing well. Haha, -ha, the jukes. My god. She's the worst. It was the best of times, it was the blurst of times. Oh, well, we're hosed. I can't manage to run anywhere. <laughs> uh oh. Five out of ten jump scare? That was a nine out of ten for me. I did not expect her to be there. I did not expect her to be there. She got me. Nine out of freaking ten, man, I'll tell you. Nine out of ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Eleventy-one out of ten. It got me. It got me. Most of this game hasn't been scary, but I did not expect her to be just right outside that door. It gave me the hebus jeebus. It gave me the hebus jeebus. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know where to go now. We need to get another key. So we're... We need to do something with Hebel's perfume and the film reel. I need to find a place to... We need a projector, I guess. And I don't know what to do with the perfume. Nothing seems like the right thing to do. All right, the 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 chimera. Uh -huh. Yep, yeah, there she is. There's our buddy. <laughs> Best friends, BFFs. Stop being annoying. I wonder what happens if we open this door now. Where the f- what the fuck? She stopped following us in here. She was hot on our tail, but then she was like, nope, I'm good. A circuit breaker. The end of the cord connects to that chair, which can only mean one thing. This chair wasn't used for sitting. It was used for something far more a diabolic kill. Thin bladed sabers line the wall. Several of them appear to be coated with rust and caked on blood. Maybe we should grab one so we can stab the crazy lady. Just a suggestion. There's a handle that winds the attached rope up. Looks like this was used as a stretching mechanism. God only knows what they used it for. Fun. Fun. What are you barking at that for, man? Huge spikes jut out from inside the Iron Maiden, rendering the device unusable as a hiding place. Uh, well, according to science and history, Iron Maidens aren't real. Yo, J Money, what's up, Omi? Hello, hello, hello. Is it a bird cage? It just seems too large to be a cage for birds. How goes your Tuesday, man? Welcome. Hope you're doing well today, man. How goes life? A corpse. There are traces that suggest this person was heavily tortured. 
There is something hanging around its neck. Well, obviously we're going to take it. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? What's this? What's this? Touch it. With your mouth. No, no. Well, maybe. Lick it. No, don't. Yep. Oh my god, why is it alive? Ooh. Remember when they said there was the, the old man that had, like, immortality? Eating some pomegranates, watching some Dragon Ball Super, that all sounds absolutely wonderful. First of all, pomegranates are goddamn delicious, and every time I eat a fucking pomegranate, I just get shit all over me. All over me. Pomegranates, there's no easy way to eat them. Unless someone has devised, like, a fancy way to eat pomegranates, whilst delicious, goddamn near impossible to eat on your own. Still freaking delicious. Love them. I haven't watched too much, uh... So, pomegranates are these big fruits but you don't eat the rind or the pulp inside of it you eat the seeds the seeds have this kind of like coating on them and oh man i cannot begin to explain how delicious pomegranate seeds are they're so good i think there there may be a little bit of sourness to them i would say there's a lot of sweet to them though they're really good Pomegranates are really freaking good. I like to get a uh, pomegranate Greek yogurt. Oh man, it's so good. Faya, Faya, I think that's how you say their name. They make some some great Greek yogurts, and I, I like getting the pomegranate one, man. It's so good. Or just getting plain Greek yogurt and pouring in your own pomegranate, man. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. It, it all depends on your taste, though. Not everyone likes every kind of fruit, but I mean, it's at least worth trying once. Restraints a whip in various surgical instruments. Dry blood covers all of the sadistic props. So we've got some pressure plates here. Alright, let's go from bottom to top. Green? No. What color is this? Is this yellow? Yellow. Yellow? No. Red? These are the four elements. Is this a tool used to torture innocent victims? Tiny letters are engraved. Fire is essentially composed of hotness and dryness. Air differs only from fire in that it is formed of moistness. Wait, what? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You only grow in October, though. That's when they are nice and ripe. Yes, that is that is a great point. Uh, I thought that they were a winter fruit, not a fall fruit, though. I didn't realize it was an October thing. I thought it was a, a later year thing. I thought it was like November. I thought it was more like November, December when pomegranates were good. I must be wrong in that. They're, they're so good so good good info may have to go to the store and find some tomorrow and need to get on a new diet anyways well don't go on a diet diets don't work eating healthy is the way to go if you can if you can mitigate what you eat it's it's a much it's a much better thing to do rather than go on a diet one of the things that happens and please don't get me wrong i'm not a nutrition i'm not a doctor but I've, I've taken a bunch of classes and stuff and i've read a lot about stuff and grant i might be some quack on the internet it's always best to do your own research but my understanding is when you tell your body you're going on a diet your body goes into panic mode and goes oh shit you're gonna fucking start to starve me and i'm not gonna get the nutrients i need so it starts to break down more muscle mass like the 
the nutrients that it needs is what's in muscle, not fat. So the best thing that you can do is just, you don't, you don't diet, you just eat healthier and exercise. It's what I do. I don't, I don't diet. I, I eat healthy and exercise. Granted, I'm, I'm lucky to, to have a faster, to have a metabolism that works the way that it does. But granted, I don't eat a shit ton either. Like I don't even eat 1800 calories a day for the most part. That's, that's what the beer is for. <laughs> either way it's 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 uh it's just it's it's eating smarter you can have pizza and mexican food you totally can eat pizza and mexican food and and lose weight it's just how much of it do you eat you know if you're eating like an entire pizza in a meal obviously that's not going to work for it you're not going to burn you know all the calories that are in an entire pizza there's probably like depending on the pizza somewhere around 12 1500 you know calories in there you're, you're not going to burn that i mean that's like your entire meal for a day it's it's also portioning too but it's it's one of the things as well your grandma's neighbor grows pomegranate that is so freaking cool fresh fruit nothing better than fresh fruit man i love fresh fruit i could sit and eat fresh fruit all day i love it going out to farmers markets i'll get like you know a couple of little cartons of blueberries i will eat an entire one of those in one sitting with without question and then i'll poop purple but you know <laughs> it's worth it earth and fire are without doubt both in possession of dryness water comes from air in the fact that it does not contain heat coldness is the component that separates fire from earth yet it is dryness that separates the same earth from water and so by linking these four elements together it is said that the fundamental carina aurea or alchemic bond is formed that which binds flesh and spirit together for an infinitum hotness and dryness form the element of fire what could it mean hotness and dryness i think i got i think i got it I think I got it. All right, so hot dog, 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 dog. Come on. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But come on. Come on. Stop. No, dude. I want you over Boy. here. How can I get him over come here on. under fire? All right. Hotness and dryness. Dryness and... Oh, man, this is cool. We got a riddle. We got a riddle, right? I don't know if you eat a whole pizza in one day, you'll be on the shitter all day. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. So would I. <laughs> so would I. It's just... It's it's about just... And eating, eating properly is not an easy thing to do. It's also not a cheap thing to do. So it, it make, it make life can be kind of difficult in those ways. Uh, we need to, oh man, why can you not write this shit down? What? Does this perfume have no smell? Wait a second, maybe the smell is undetectable to a human's nose, but Huey might be a different story. That big nose has to serve some purpose, right boy? Oh shit, all right, well we gotta figure this out first. All right, what do we have? Hotness and dryness. Air differs from fire in that it is formed of moistness. So it's two for each one. So hot and wet? Instead of dry, it's wet. Hot and wet fire and water earth and fire are without doubt both in possession of dryness water differs from air in the fact that it does not contain heat this hurts my head no coldness is the component that separates fire from earth yet it is dryness that separates the same earth from water i want to write that shit down man
He just did. He just fucking did it. Hey, Huey. Come on. Huey. Come on. Dude. Come on. Stay. <laughs> what do I care? It's just. Oh, now. That was like the one thing I wasn't supposed to do was that one. Come on. Go. No, no, no. Stay. Stay right there. Fucking hell, man. Dude, the fucking dog. Dude, come here. Come on. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Getting him to listen to you sometimes. Well, didgeridoo, he's gonna die, too! Uh, I guess we just did that. You're bad, not mine. Is he okay? He's gotta be okay. We got the key. Oh, he's the best doggo. Huey's the Good best. Boy. Huey's Good the best. Boy. Pet his Good face. Boy. Pet his face. Good boy. Stop telling him he's a good boy and pet his face. Good boy. Good boy. Why are you yelling at him? He's right next to you. Huey. See, he's best boy. He's best boy. He's adorable, he's lovely, alright, yeah, he's a little ignorant sometimes, but he's the best. We love Huey. Come on. Come on. He listens 30% of the time. Like most dogs. Alright, I know where I need to go. I really want to save first. I heard her carving some shit off in the... We don't we don't want to do that puzzle again. These are cool. I like the puzzles in this game. This is this is what I miss from survival horror games. Or just a horror games in general is like cool puzzles like that. I love that shit. Give me a riddle. Riddle me this, Batman. Riddle me this. I love that stuff. It's so fun. Uh Venus key. A copper forge key with the symbol of a, a lady carved into it. The symbol means Venus. Use it. A lady. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I know what we got to do here. Uh, Come here, Huey. Smell this shit. Oh, 
Oh shit, we got it. Uh oh. It's a mandragora. Don't touch it. It's a. It's gonna scream. It's good, girl. It's gonna scream so loud. First of all, I don't think Mandragoras scream. I think only Mandragoras scream when you pull them out of the ground. I don't think it's just when you pick them up. That, that did not help us out. Full body flower sprout from the bed. Pull one out. Yep. White Mandragora. I got it. I can't hold anymore. You must first do something with the one you're carrying. Like what? I hate it. Huey's the one that told me to do it. Is this an info sheet on the plants here? There's something written here. In order to procure the large quantity of blood required to complete the grand process, a fusion of plant and animal known as the Flora Animalia was created? What? It's not a baby plant. It's a mandragora. They just scream. They're, they're plants that scream. No baby. Just freaky deaky, screamy planty. It was originally derived from a secret formula and named the Mandragora. There we go. Multiple plant types were fused in an attempt to create the Mandragora, but only the combination of the Hebel seemed to possess a similar liquid composition. In current research, our subjects are nearly identical to a real Mandragora, flower color and an ever so faint difference in smell is the only way to tell the original apart from the substitute caution must be exercised if the mandragora is ever uprooted it has two power defense mechanisms there we go it emits a loud ear rupturing shriek and it can paralyze its attacker with poisonous leaves if the situation becomes too dangerous one should quickly throw away the mandragora to get out of harm's way Otherwise known as Flora Nimalia, white flowers bloom from this synthetic plant. Its screams and its poisons are known for slowly driving a victim insane. This was not what I thought was going to happen. I have to get away. I don't have time for this. We have a film reel. I thought I thought that was going to be something important and it's not what I thought it was. You fucking asshole, why would you scream at me? Oh, you're the worst. Dude, I was opening a fucking door. Oh, she is so terrible. Terrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Jesus. Maybe we can use the Mandragora on her. Here. I got some Mandragora action for you. Can't use that here. Damn it. I'm going to hide in the closet real quick. Baby scream, lots of other things scream. Not just baby scream, adult scream. I screamed earlier tonight. You scream, I scream, I scream for, oh my god, why the fuck is this happening?
There she is. There's our buddy. The music didn't stop. Like it didn't go back to the other the other tunage. Alright, well we got the key now. Was there was there another was there another lock? Oh, no, there was the cemetery area. The one with the mausoleum. We have to do something with the mausoleum. That's a big dead end. So, we should get the fuck out of here. With the goddamn quickness. Let's go this way. Dude, come on. Alright, now we got some normal music playing. No, wrong door. Every time the wrong door. Is this the right door? No, it's the one we just came through. I'm an idiot. This is the one. I just want to go save. That's all that I want to do. So, just in case some shit happens. Good boy. Where you at? Good boy. You can see his like ears are back. Who's this chick with the weapon? Evil. <laughs> That's who she is. She's pure evil. Uh, she is one of, like, the caretakers of this... There, there's, like, two houses. There's the castle and the mansion. Somehow they're attached to one another. Our egress is somewhere through in this mansion. And she's some sort of maid, but... Somebody created her and she doesn't have like emotions or feelings according to but she has psychosis apparently But she was created and she doesn't have emotions or feelings, but she's clearly crazy. She's she's a nutty buddy I don't know much I don't know much, but I know that and that she is she ain't she ain't she ain't right Uh, there have been a couple of stalkers in this game. She just happens to be one of them. There was there was a guy earlier that was stalking us. He was a big uh, he was a big burly guy who's like Quasimodo, and he was trying to hunt us down. Oh shit! She's gonna pop up. No? Alright, we'll take that. We'll take a no. I'd rather save over here. That's a much better save. Alright, did I want to go... Why is the heart beating thing going? No, we, we did everything in here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we did everything down... Here. Oh, this way. Yeah, we haven't been this way in a hot minute. Let's go. Is this where the cemetery was? Dude, I am so jealous that you had some fresh pomegranates. 100% jealous that you had fresh pomegranates. It's it's so freaking good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Is that going to come too?
I'm gonna wait for both of those things to hit me here. I don't know if they actually do anything. Oh, you don't use the white mandragora there? What about the film reel? Lifeblood, huh? How do you, how do you prepare your man, your uh, pomegranates? Like, what do you do? How do you, how do you get the seeds out? Because every time that I've done it, it's just been a giant mess. Like, is there a proper way to like deal? Yo, here's the mandragora. That's not pleasant. That's not pleasant. <laughs> but we did it. But whatever it is, we did it. The game's just like, good job, you. Thanks, I guess. And we go down into the mausoleum. All right, even better. Gross. You don't know your grandma does it? Sharing is caring. If video games have taught me anything, sharing is caring. Oh no, it's another big dude. I wonder if this is the same type of golem statue that I saw in the main castle. Look, there's a slot here too. This definitely must be the same type. Alright, so we're going to have to have another name for this guy. Let's see if we can find out what it is. A corpse lies on the altar clutching a stone tablet in a death grip. The golem sacrifice must be offered to the ever-burning wall of Hades that hinders your quest. Shepherd the beast to the land of meth. The land of meth? Uh-oh. We don't want no meth. By etching your name into a string of letter-based commands. The primitive golem allows but two commands. In the simplest of terms, the letter L moves the beast left, the letter R moves it right. The four letter combination of R, 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 R will open the path to the small garden. MF do? MF Doom taught you a good lesson? Doom? You mean the Doom game? What did what did Doom teach you? What 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 did it learn you? Go, Huey. Motherfucker, I said go. No. Be a duok. Be it. You smell things. You didn't find anything. It's okay. You're still a good boy. I just want to see where we're... All right. So we need to find a way to put out these fires. Lots of blazes. Holy shit. We need a bunch of different ones. All right, so what do we have here? So we're going into the maze. So, all right, it says... Let's figure these out. All right. Um, 
What do we got? I don't have anything to jot this shit down on. <laughs> uh, we'll open up notes on the iPad. And then we'll jot these. We'll jot these directions down. So I'm assuming the directions are where we are in here. It said four rights, right? We're going to open up something. So let's see what four rights do. So we're going to go forward. We're going to turn right. That's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. So we do... R R R, not air. R R R. Stop correcting me. Auto correct. Four R's. Right. Four R's brings us to that one, right? Because that's one, two, three, four. All right. And then we've got one, one right, two right, so R, R, and then we have an L, we have an L, all right, we can, we can stop at that one, and then we're going to have R, R, L, R, we turn right, and then we turn right, right. So there, there's four that we can do. Doom taught the sharing part and less with the caring for the demons. Sure, sure, sure. Doom taught me that if someone kills your pet, you commit mass genocide. Oh, no, you mean that's what, uh, that's what John Wick, that's what John Wick taught you. We, 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 we got no fire. C -c 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 Corbin, we, 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 we got no fire. We don't have no water, man. Yes, the the right and left, that's the way the golem moves. So he'll move straight until he gets to a point where he can turn, I'm assuming. So there, there are multiple instances that we can deal with here. Oh shit, and we're right here? There's a tablet here? Shut the front door. So we have R, R, R. That's number one. Let's use it. Let's see what RRR does. The demons killed his rabbit? What? I don't know of this. He's really hustling. Shh, be very quiet. I'm hunting wabbit. Oh my god, we have to do this four times? Meth. Cool. Uh, this is really cool. I like it. All the puzzles in this game have been really nifty. Magist medallion? I don't know. I, I love the idea of scariness mixed with puzzles. It's so freaking cool. All right, so let's do the next one.
Wait, what? Oh, I don't have it. I don't have it. I only did one. Uh, so now we have four R's. One, one, two, three, four. I guess maybe we could do them all now. Uh, R, R, L. And R, R, L, R, R. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. That is a, a terrible joke. A terrible joke. Tis the worst of jokes. It was the worst of jokes. It was the worst of jokes. He walks like he's stone. It was a normal brown rabbit. Did that really happen? Did that really happen in the Doom game? Like, somebody, somebody just straight up murdered the rabbit? I don't recall that happening. Damn, that hurts your feelings. Uh-huh. No, you hurt my feelings by saying that terrible joke. My feelings are now ruined. I must, I must purge myself with pictures of puppies. Psych, I don't have feelings. <laughs> Who says psych anymore? Did you grow up in the 80s? I do not remember. In the original Doom? You mean the one from like 1993? I don't recall... I don't recall a uh, Doom guy having a bunny. <laughs> I don't recall Doom guy having a bunny. In the original Doom. Early 90s. Fair enough. I mean, why else would you know the, the word psych? No, no kids use that nowadays. Psych! Alright. It looks like the fires... I was kind of nervous that... Uh, the fires would come back the more that we used the golem, but I guess not. I don't, I don't recall ever there being a story of Doom Guy's bunny getting murdered and so he went out. My, my recollection is that they were, they were doing like space mining and they, they found a portal to hell and summoned, summoned the demons and you know, shit went to pot. That's, that's my recollection of the Doom story. Granted, I don't know what the new Doom story is. So John Wick ripped off... I don't think this is true. I don't think any of this is true. You should not believe Jay Money right now. I don't think any of this is true. I don't believe this was a thing. <laughs> yeah, I call, that's what I'm saying. I call bullshit. It still happens, but they killed his rabbit. <laughs> so, on top of the accidental summoning of demons, they kill his rabbit. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. Look it up, I'm telling the truth. No, you look it up. You're the one that... I don't... I'm not looking it up. <laughs> you won't get me. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times... Shame on me. Fool me four times still. Shame on me. You're not getting me. The demons killed the rabbit. Goddamn demons killing bunnies. Yeah, I don't I don't recall any of this from the Doom lore. When I was I was so big of a nerd on Doom that I read the books. I actually read the Doom books. You do it so I don't have to, and that's what I appreciate. That's what I appreciate. I read I read the books. I read like four or five books based on Doom, and none of them talked about Doom guy having a fucking bunny that was murdered. That's how nerdy I was. I actually read books based on Doom. 
Oh shit, man. Look at all these hallways. Let's go get the item that we know that exists down here. We've got two pathways that'll lead us forward. Alright, more than two pathways that'll lead us forward. But we hear a clock. That's good. Uh, Median. OMG, it's fucking true. J Money is not a liar. Hashtag J Money is a genius. Nope, she's over there. She's fucking over there. I heard her. Where the hell's the clock? I thought I heard a clock. I'm just high, aren't I? You barking at, dude. Oh, he found something. That's why he's the best dog ever. Who's a good boy? Who's a who's a who's a good boy? I still don't believe it. Now, 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 Merc is in on on your crazy fan fiction. Now, now, Merc is all in on the crazy fan fiction with Jay Money. What is happening here? You guys are brainwashed. Y'all are trying to fuck with me. Nah, none of that's good. That's just bad. None of this is good. Someone's gonna jump over and like start to murder us. And then I gotta run. And then we're gonna get the runs. It smells like burnt meat. A dreadful odor indeed. They must be cooking an animal's carcass. Get in there, Huey. Go, Huey. Find and see if it's an animal carcass. Showed up in episode three of the original Doom. Oh. Well, alright. Huey just kind of looked. Alright, so that wasn't where we wanted to go. But it did give us a Neato Bandito item. Alright, so we've got the path over there and the path down here. I'm nervous as all get out. the fuck? Why is there a lamp ray? Or what, what are they called? Not a lamp ray. Oh my god. What the hell? Why, why, why are we in an aquarium? Must be from all the meth. Yeah, must be from all the meth. Must be from all the meth. Totally. I did too much meth. That's why I don't have teeth. These are wooden teeth. I'm like George Washington. Washington. Alright, where are we? Where are we on the map? Really? There's a clock in here. Hell yeah. Motherfucking clock. All day, every day. We get them clocks going on. So would Doom Guy and John Wick team up to kill people who killed their pets? They obviously did. That's what John Wick 4 is about. Doom Guy and John Wick get together to kill demons and assassins. Eat more pomegranates in victory. Hell yeah. I'm going to go use the lavatory real quick, guys. Give me two seconds and I will be, I will be right back. But I gotta, I gotta alleviate my bladders because tis be fools, and then we'll figure out 
I want to go see what that weird zombie guy is, but I guess we should explore the library as well. So there's there's a couple of things I guess we're going to have to do before we continue on, but give me two seconds while I go uh, micturate. Be right back. Wait, I'm an idiot. There we go. Now we're good to go. All right, now we can figure out what we need to do here. Abraham Lincoln's last words were, it was Mary, you need a pillow like I need a bullet in my eye. That's a joke. That's, that's a joke. It's a terrible joke, terrible joke, terrible joke. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this shelf seems to contain books on Nikolai Frommel. It looks like it's pushable. Books have been arranged by author. Looks like some stuff's gonna happen here. Huh. They're on tracks, right? Sanger Man, the author of these books. What? Worse than your joke? Yeah, all jokes are bad. Gotta do some homework. If I'm still streaming later, you'll tune in. Alright, man. Well, I'll be here for a minute. I think. The book lying on the table. You've obtained Cathedral Secrets. Oh. Let's read about Cathedral Secrets. A book written by Furkanel. It describes some of the archaic alchemist, alchemistic symbols that line the walls of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to put it somewhere. Huh. Books have been arranged by author. The books are authored by Periculius. Huh? What's this? Alright, what is this? One of the books stands out from the rest. Wise Man's Crafts. A book of allegorical hieroglyphs and accompanying explanations written by the great Nikolai Frommel. All right, so I guess we're going to have to put those somewhere. Furcanelli. Oh, we're creating a path. The books have been arranged by author. There's one empty space on the shelf. Looks like there used to be a book that went here. All right. So... Hey, what's up? This is Big Bear. How you doing, homie? Happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. Uh... Perineum. Perineum. Is that how you say it? Perineum? I think it's perineum. 
There you go, perineum. It's not, it's, it's, it's naughty-ish. If you know what the perineum is, it's, it's naughty-ish. I'm doing alright, man. I'm having fun playing this game. This game is like a, a, a just unbelievable amount of fun. It's really cool. The, uh, the puzzles and stuff in here have been pretty, pretty nifty so far. Oh, we can push it? Ah, push it. What's this? Occult philosophy. Yeah, man, the, the evening so far has been pretty doggone neat. Agrippa, an enigmatic, an, enig an enigmatic book written by Agrippa that discusses the secret techniques of alchemy. All right, so we're, we're, it looks like we're trying to make a path over So more than likely we need to move this one Nikolai Frommel All right, so we should use This one was Frommel, right? Yeah we're geniuses. We're geniuses. These puzzles are so simple. An idiot like me could do them. And it turns out I'm an idiot like me. Yo, we found it. Still, it's still kind of like unclear. But, like, the basics that we have so far are that, you know, we... Our parents died. Somehow we're associated with this belly manor. Like, we're, we're, we're the heir of this. But, no, things are still kind of vague. There really hasn't been a lot of clarity as far as the story has been going. But we haven't really found much story stuff today. Today has just been running from the crazy uh, maid woman that was trying to kill us yesterday. Just a bit more of that. So so nothing concrete yet, but I think we're making I think we're making headway. I mean I think. What the hell do I know? I'm a um, I'm a gosh darn idiot that can barely solve puzzles. But we got that one done. That's pretty cool. Hey! A projector room! Heck yeah! Scattered mannequin parts are strewn about. When assembled correctly, these parts will all lock together to make the mannequin look real. Gross. Don't do it. Chicken, chicken jerkery, chicory, chicken jerker, jerk, jerk chicken. Is that the one made? Yeah, it was the lady making the soup. Uh, she went a little nuts and tried to murder us. Yep. After, after we took care of Debilitas, uh, she became our new uh, nemesis. Literally our nemesis, like Resident Evil 3 nemesis, the one that's just like, stars. No, she's just like, <laughs> and then she's trying to stab us with a fucking fire poker. It's pretty fun. Not really. She scared the bejesus out of me earlier. This shelf is packed full of old books discolored from years of disuse. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know what the hell that was, but that shook my fucking house. That shit was loud. Holy hell, man. There's this loud bang outside and the whole house shook. That was that was crazy. Majority of the literature here is solid parchment scrolls. There's a projector set up here. Looks rather old, but perhaps it still works. You know it works. Just a lifeless mannequin. What's the one with the hair? Take its hair. I need it. Give me its hair. A screen. Has someone been watching films here recently? We do have a film. We can watch. We can do all the oogling and ogling.
Uh, I do have a film to play. Let's let's play it. She upgraded her piece of glass to a hot fire poker. She did. She absolutely upgraded her piece of glass to a hot fire poker. We we talked to her and she was just like, I'll stab you. She didn't say that, but she implied it. That's why the zombie head was following us. It was recording? What the hell's happening? Half circle, full circle, three circle. How the hell are we going to remember that? Half circle. He's being filmed. Who's that? Uh oh. That's none of that's good. No, this is good. Well, here's the maid with the hot pokey stick. Yep. Of life, of life, of wo wo woman, woman. Her brain's fucking scrambled. Her brain's fucking scrambled. She did all the meth. She's the one that was doing all the meth. I don't know where to go. Hermie! Wormy! Get her! Huey. Hermes, not her name. Huey. Yep. This is all normal. Go. Want to go down there and grab that? No, dude. You want to grab the, go. the fucking thing over here, man? Yeah, good dog. The Terminator song plays. I don't know. I don't know what the Terminator song is. Dun 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 dun. Wait, that's not the Terminator song. It's it's a song though. What the hell's happening? Yay! 
Get him! Get him! Yeah, I don't want to go over there either, Huey. That's a good decision. That's a good decision. Let's not go over there. I like that. He used math to make that decision. And by math, scaredness. That guy was talking jibber-jabber, and we're not having any of it. There's some kind of medicine bottle on the shelf, so take it. It could be good. It's drugs. Do meth! Do meth! M-E-T-H-O-D, man. The label says acetic acid on it. Hey, you get off my cloud. You don't know me, and you don't know my style. Oh, free water. I hope this water won't make me sick if I drink it. I like how she's just like, I hope it doesn't do it. And she still drinks it. Dog looked at you like, fuck you. And rightfully so. That dude was just mumbling to himself in a fucking corner. I mean, that's one of those moments where you go, we could walk over there or I could shit myself. Why not both? I wonder what's inside. It's not like it's going to explode or anything, right? I don't know. It's gas, girl. Looks like plastic containers used to store chemicals. I can't make... I can make out the word ethanol written on the labels. Well, we know what ethanol is. That's alcohol. Drink it! It's a device which appears to be used for measuring things. I wonder what they use it to measure. For some reason, this room seems to contain comparatively modern equipment. Still, though, never see most of the stuff in this room. I heard a clock. Wonder if this could serve as a hiding spot if I'm ever in a pinch. Oh darn, it's locked. I don't think I'll be able to open it. Maybe they have locked some important chemicals or medicines inside. Right. So we should hack it open with our face. Several bottles containing various chemicals have been left out. The word sulfuric acid are written on one of the bottles. I feel like we're going to need this stuff at some point. For some reason, this... Uh, yep, no, we've already read that. No! Don't you look at that. It's for my eyes only. I guess there's not a clock in here. I thought there was going to be a clock in here. I could have swore that I heard something like ticky tocky. That happens sometimes. The game lies to you with audio cues that, that mean nothing. Ticket in a taka? Oh, there's a clock somewhere. There are books spread out on the table. They seem to pertain complex formula. But they're far beyond my level of comprehension. Hey, we found a bird. Free bird. Get the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. None of those had anything underneath? Really? Is it a, is it a diving bell? Did we find a diving bell? Synthesizer. By separating the platinum half piece and then synthesizing it with the sacred white, a new spiritually infused substance is born. The path you're walking is ever so dangerous. However, if you don't want the sacred what to be fouled by blood, then you should give up the grand process here. What? The fuck did I just read? What? What? Wait, what? A synthesizer? What peculiar device? It appears you can insert an item here. What? The fuck did it just... What? Huh? English? Parlez-vous anglais?
I don't I don't know what I don't know what that meant. Platinum? Half platinum? Like what the fuck half platinum? And we don't even get to write it down, man. That's the worst part. I hate how like some of those things aren't saved. Like that seemed important, yet she doesn't keep a note of it. Alright, let's look at comments. Uh a synthesizer. It's been placed in this dark and spooky hallway, and it looks like some weird device you'd see a mad scientist use. God, I miss home. Right. Well, that was helpful. It answered all my questions. Did it answer all your questions, guys? It answered mine. Oh, look at this. We found the thingamabobber. There's a dial connected to what looks like a water pipe. Operate the dial. Yeah, so this was half, half, whole, three. There we go. We did it. We're amazing. We're geniuses. I'm too smart. I didn't even need to read it. I'm so smart, I didn't even need to read it. Dude, I love it. That sound is so much like, you know, like the Legend of Zelda... Dun, 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 dun. You know, when Link gets an item, I just, I love, I love that sound, man. It's like, you did something. You accomplished something. You did the good. Maybe it's more like that. Maybe it's more like the, the, like, finding a way to open the door. Still. It's got, it's got that sound of accomplishment, you know? Where the hell we going? Oh, we got a Mars door. Mars bars. Mars bars. We need to find some Mars bars. It's an iconic sound right next to the alert sound from Metal Gear Solid. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. She's in here. Bye, Huey. Uh oh. I guess we're dead. <laughs> uh, uh oh. <laughs> Boo boos was made. Uh, oh dearie me. Oh dearie my. I done did something wrong. <laughs> I, done, I done did something wrong. Neo would have been perfect for that scene. You mean the whole. Uh, dodge at you know uh the matrix kind of thing no no who would have been perfect for that scene me not dying that's what would have been perfect me not dying all that slow motion nope just like straight up don't die homie don't die that's what would have been perfect Uh, don't know where we're going, don't know what we're doing, I'm not sure. What do I do? She's all nervous. What do I do? You, you pet your damn dog. Good boy, Cujo. Good boy, Cujo. When you get rabies, you murder. 
All right, we're going upstairs instead of fucking downstairs. That shit was whack. No, don't go down, go up. Yeah, all right, so you figure it out. Go, Huey. Yo, I was following him. Obviously not well enough. All right, we're there. Oh, there's a clock up here too. Oh yeah, man. Clock clocks everywhere and not a clock to care. Wait. Water, water everywhere, so let's all have a drink. What's, uh, what's on the left side over here? Fuck. Oh. I, I thought, I thought the music was gonna stop and, you know, crazy maid lady was gonna eat our lunch for us. I cut off your crust like you like! Now eat it! It's peanut butter and raspberry jam! I thought it was gonna go terrible. I feel like there is some spots that I have forgotten to to check. We got another puzzle, huh? Boss fight, huh? <laughs> not good. Not, not good. Her wiring has gone wrong. Well, keep biting her, dude. You done pissed her off. Why'd she get angry at Huey for biting her? Keep biting her. Jeepers creepers. Blood, flesh, woman. Did you forget it now? Vile creature. You lure the man into your filthy body again. And again, and you are allowed to do it because you are a precious, precious little princess. Precious. The fucking golem? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Smeagol. <laughs> it's, it's female Smeagol. How precious. It burns us. Freezes us. Get our hands off. 
Nope, 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 nope. And now she's crying blood. Just all the nope. Nope. I don't like her. Oh, we had defense. Don't hit Huey. You piece of shit. Oh my god, push! Stop cheering him on! Yeah. Ow! She wilded me in my bonkers! Alright, well... Ran into that wall enough. I'm on the ground! Get up! hell, man. I can't control- like, she starts just running in a direction and that's it. She's committed. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Well, that's where we're going now. All right, he needs some, like, chicken jerky. That was a wall. I think we did it. Did we first try the boss? Unlike 18 tries yesterday for Debilitas, we got the Maiden one try. Oh no, don't murder her! Well, maybe it's good that she gets murdered. She she probably won't leave us alone. Ooh, she got omened. She got omened. I think she liked that shit. <laughs> I think she liked that shit. 
I don't know that I wanted to kill her, but we did it. Mars key. We got it. We got our Mars bar. I can't believe things have gotten this out of hand. Do you think she's actually dead? I didn't actually mean to kill her. Hey, come here. Good job, Huey. We did it. It was us. We brought her down. I don't think she's dead. Something... Something inside says that she ain't quite dead yet. I can feel something inside me say I really don't think she's quite dead yet, no. Do you believe the maid is dead after death? Whenever we put her down. I can't believe we got it first try. That's the best part of it all. Alright, uh, Huey, I Hello, think you Huey. need to guide me back through here. No? Oh? Yup. Yup, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Huey! Go, Huey. Come here! Come you fucking dog, come here! <laughs> no! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You piece of shit. Go, Huey. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Huey. Thank you. For not leaving me to the deadens. The super duper deadens. Alright, was there anything that I didn't get to explore over here because the maid lady was chasing us? I'm not gonna save, just in case. We don't we don't need to save. I just wanna know if it was just Oh, there was this thing. Like what the hell am I supposed to do with this? By separating the platinum half piece and then synthesizing it with the sacred white a new spiritually infused substance is born the path you're walking is ever so dangerous however if you don't want the sacred white to be fouled by blood then you should give up the grand process here i don't know what the hell that fucking means cracked plate do it use it nope you're not doing it uh Probably has something to do with the medallions, huh? No? Huh. What about the antimonies? I don't know what to do with that thing then. This just... I don't fucking know. Alright, the Mars key is still something we can use. I really thought that there was going to be... Acetic acid? Like, I thought... I thought we were going to do something with these. Sulfuric acid. 
I really thought something was gonna come about because of those, like, medicine. There was really nothing in that room. I thought, I thought we were gonna... I don't, I don't know what, but... Right, this room was weird as shit, too. Like, there's this dude... Standing up here? There was that hallway I never went down, right? Where was that hallway I never went down? Was that over here? There was that one hallway I just like bitched out of because I was just like, fuck this. We need to we need to go check that out. Where was that? Not here. It was not there. Alright, there's only other one place that we can check then. I completely forgot that, like, I, I became a giant sissy and was like, nah! Nah, we're not going down here. That's frightening. We'll come back later. I guess that was over here. We need to check it out before we go on and use the the Mars bars key. I'm an idiot. She needs to get some stamina back. I'm an idiot. It was literally where we were. It was literally where we were. It was down this way. down here and I was just like, alright, I'm not going fucking that way because there's the weird guy there. He's growling, but it's not... Hubba dubba 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 hubba dubba dubba. There's a sheet draped over this thing. Why are they trying to hide everything away like this? Alright, so hubba dubba man. Hubba dubba 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 Ain't gonna do shit. Alright. Well, this is new. We haven't been down... We haven't been down here before. What? <laughs> Why are you hiding? No need to hide. We murdered the maid. Still haven't made anything from any of those things. Really? It's an enormous cage. What in the world could they have been keeping in here? Man, what? So we're not done in here yet? Oh my god, I thought I... You know the maid's coming back. We're not done yet. You know the maid's coming back. There's no way we're done. Alright, where was the... Not in here. Was down here. Okay. All right. So I thought I thought we were done in like the the mansion area. I guess we're not. That's gonna loop back around on something. I guess. Down we go.
Huey Lewis in the news, you better hurry up. And we go, I guess. All right, Mars bars. Faux life. What do we got on the other side of this door? Moss key. Open sesame. Come on. Huey. Are you fucking kidding me? We can hide under some rocks? Where were all these hiding spaces before? Huh? I don't like the sound of this uh, weird bre- What the fuck are you? You see the little gyrating monster over there? What the bananas? A mold of miasma and corrosion wafts through within the hole. What the fuck was that? Alright, this is where we can create some alchemic things, but... Uh, it's just the same thing as it always does. I don't... I don't... I don't know... I could probably spend like an hour experimenting with shit. I just don't want to. Hello? It's Scatman. He's scatting. I'm sorry. He wasn't talking gibberish. He was just scatting. He's a jazz musician. It's my fault. A pair of scales lies in the center of the corridor. A balance in a corridor. Just one more strange happening that I don't even want to try to guess at. Whatever floats your boat. What's this thing? we not examine the thing that's the thing on the podium? No? 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 His art. A weeping stone. Weeping willow on my pillow. No, why would you do that? All right, well, this is all nonsensical. Huey, join me. Uh oh. WTF? WTF? Now, think we found our next stalker. Come with me. No, I don't, don't do want it. To. Don't do it. Me don't do it. I want to go home. But Miss Fiona, you are home. This whole castle is all yours. Then you go away if it's mine. So Miss Fiona does not wish to stay at her castle. Does not. Did that guy just point a gun at me? You miserable wench. You were given the greatest gift of all and you don't even appreciate it. I can't believe the Azoth was wasted on you. What the fuck is the Azoth? And secondly, don't go pointing guns at people, man. Looks like I have no choice. Uh -oh. Well, I tried to kick it. Did it work? Push him off! That's not what you do. You don't push that guy off. Don't be mean to the crazy people. Unlock the- No!
What the hell, man? Smell my hampers! What the shit? This dude's got a gun! Bang bang, motherfucker! I don't like bang bang! That nerd got shot. Yeah! Get him! Dog friend! Give him some milk of magnesia. We are busted tired. She can't stop running though. This nerd is hot to trot. Viona. Run! Hurry up, Huey. We lost him! Whew! We just had a hustle. Amazing gameplay. Amazing gameplay. We just had a run in a giant fucking circle. I knew what I was doing. Oh, you're there. I mean, let's be honest, this does not look pleasant. The knob is rotted off. I can't open the door like this. If it's rotted off, just like... Yeah. Go through. Huey, do it. Go. Destroy it. You got it. No, Huey, Go. do it. No? Alright, well, if things didn't get worse, couldn't have possibly gotten worse, we, we, went, we went from a crazy... Crazy, maybe slightly disabled human being to a, I don't know, lunatic woman with a piece of glass and a hot poker to a crazy dude in a fucking revolver? What? What? Nutrients? Ever come to think of it, maybe the nutrients are not fed in, perhaps they're sucked in instead. Either way, it can't be saved. Go, Huey. Why don't you try to find some shit, Huey? What the hell is this thing? Is this me? I don't know where I'm going. What? I can't see any higher than this? I don't... It definitely looked like there was something kickable over there. Look at this. When we go over here... Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm crazy. Extractor. Born from the swirling sands of chaos, the primordial element, Prima Materia... Oh, fucking Final Fantasy 7, do we have to summon Meteor to beat Sephiroth? Begins to decay and before long changes into the yellow demon. For those seeking the next rev evolutionary step, stray not from the road of purification. What? They keep saying like I'm accomplishing something. What the hell? I didn't accomplish anything. An extractor? This place is full of odd inventions that I've never heard of. It appears you can insert an item here. I don't think we can do anything with either of those. I think they're just like permanent key items in our inventory.
He doesn't want to talk. I don't think we should murder him, but let's try. Huey! Murder! Get him! Bite his ass! No, these guys are just nuts. Alright, my bad. My bad for being an asshole. Oh, good. I kicked him. I don't know what just happened there. Those those two little guys just dropped out of the goddamn ceiling when we just kicked their heads in. Me and Hubie Doobie. Ah, uh, sure. That's a hiding point. Everywhere we go, I'm freaking scared. Hey, it's a tick-tock click-clock. Hell yeah. Cool beans. Alright, go out the big-ass door. A large door stands unnervingly still. Letters have been etched into the door. E pluribus unum. Wait. Um. All ye who enter here abandon all hope. That's what that says. Pursuer of truths. Entrust the accu accumulation of knowledge to the judgment of the goddess. The mysteries beyond the door... And the secret path will be known only to those resourceful enough to forge the Godstone. What? <laughs> the Godstone? Excuse you? How can one person open a door like that, though? I don't know. We clearly need the Godstone. Whatever the fuck that is. Squibbly dibbly dibbly doo. What the hell are you? Alright, what's this lady all about? A pair of scales hangs mysteriously from the statue's hand. One of the dishes is empty, offsetting the scales. Uh, here, have Hebel's perfume. Here, have a cracked plate. Here, have another cracked plate. Oh my god, take my shit. What? There's a coin of sorts resting on one of the trays. I guess maybe that's a clue that we need possibly... Another coin. Alright, there was like a path back there we didn't go down. Silence isn't good. Silence isn't good. Silence is bad. Excuse you? Licking the ground is not something we do. Weird as shit, dude. A cart with medicine on it. There may be some medicine here that I can use, but all the labels are smudged and I can't read a thing. Better not try something if I don't know what it is, especially in this place. Look at this guy, though. He knows what's up. He's, he's looking... Go! Go, 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 go. Go Gadget Run. That was a dead end up there. I just done about ran into dead end. What the fuck? I'm picking that up. I don't 
understand how the hell we're losing this guy constantly, but I'm okay with it. I am I am 110% okay with the fact that... Yeah, just hurry up, Huey. This way was one of the way... No, we didn't go up the stairs. That was the one I missed. She did the funky Watusi. whoop a doop a doop all right so what do we have going on up here kick that nope is he coming it won't budge it appears to be blocked by something on the other side of the door his bullets are fast but he is nothing but a turtle he seems like super slow which i guess is a good thing for us that we have a uh, uh, expedient way of evading him. What? That's that's nice, for sure. That that we definitely have a quick way of getting the hell away from him. I like that. Cause him shooting wildly at us. Pew! <laughs> Pew! It's that's not good. That's not good. One for the mental state, and two for. Dude, man, quit just being a psychotic dude with a gun. Huey. All right, well, we made one big lap, so screw this. We're gonna. Hey, you see the save point? You see? You see a save point? You use that, Jammy. Huey's dead. We have to abandon him. We have to move on with our lives. Huey's gone. All right, what the hell's this way? Huey's here, that's good. What is all this shit? <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about ink ribbons, thank God. Transmuter, synthesizing two objects together is a task any fool could surely complete. The true sage strives to master the art of transformation. That's good. And the deep inner secrets to be reaped. White is the fool's color, as they will never know the glories to be had beyond the stale hue. The true scholar, striving for perfection, knows only of the quest for the color red, for it is the symbol of utter perfection. There's some green shit, there's some red shit, there's some white shit. What jibber jabber are y'all going on about? Chicken jerky is not going to solve the problem. Is this some kind of incubator? There's something inside. Lick it. Like that other dude was doing. It's just a clump of meat. It's all fatty and gross. Looks like a clump of meat. It's all fatty and gross. All right. Meaty clumps. That's what we got going on here. Clumps of meat. This nerd's oopy doop and bopping his head. That ain't. We can't stop him. I don't feel comfortable with these guys, man. They kind of flip me out. All right. It said red, right? We got some red shit. Uh, I do have a red thing in here. We've got... Uh... Nigrid? I thought I was going to insert an item, and then it made me, like, cough and wheeze and nearly die. I didn't want to throw it. I wanted to use it in the machine. 
it said use. I just, I made the assumption that use meant, you know, like, I'm gonna place it in something. Not like, I'm gonna murder your ass. Those are red, right? We have to do something with these. Maybe we have to create something through one of the alchemy stations. I thought the, whatever, the rub grum or whatever we had, Nigred, was going to be it. We definitely have to do something with these. I just don't know what it is. I think this is one of the last places I can go to as well, so I'm not entirely sure what we gotta do. Go. Get in there, Huey. Bite it. Bite the tank. Bite the tank for victory. No. Bite the tank for victory. Oh, it's okay, buddy. I love you. I love you so much. No! Pet his face! Dude, what are you doing? Just pet your stand. You're Good literally boy. standing right next to pet him. Good boy. Uh, what if we go back into that garden area all the way back at the beginning? Can I get over there? Good boy. Seriously, you can't. You can't like. Good boy. Sure. Yeah, we can just yell at him. We can't actually Good pet him. Boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's so weird. Alright, whatever. Um Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we need to do to be perfectly honest. Yeah, the bad guy's nearby since there's no music playing. Anytime the music stops playing, the stalker is near. Oh, I thought maybe something on that scale would have been useful. Because there's that other scale in the corridor nearby, and I thought that would be... Applicable, but I guess not. So we've got this station right there. Alright, that's a hiding spot. This will allow me to go back up. I don't know that I need to go back up. I think we need to do something with alchemy. Genuinely think we need to do something with alchemy. I just don't know what that is. Yep. Let's go in. Let's try to figure it out. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure this is the solution for what we need, because I've never done it. By using a medallions, medallion, one can actually transform items into new things. The new item is roughly determined by the base item's color compatibility. So we've got red, green, and blue, and white. Reacting to the needs of its user, it can produce quantities of antimony powder, magnesium, whenever one hasn't the means to protect oneself. Come here for sanctuary. Alright, so... I don't, I don't know what we do here. Album! I was trying to do more white.
Recreatio. Did it. <laughs> you can't you can't go crazy fast. Random things will happen. Alright, uh <laughs> I kicked the shit out of him. Right, yeah, we definitely shouldn't have done all that, but Completely restores lost stamina. Completely reduces panic. I actually don't know if that was the right thing to do. The white one's upstairs? It's not all the way upstairs. I don't I don't exactly know what the hell we're looking for. We're looking for something white, something red, and something green. Platinum half piece. And synthesizing it with the sacred white, a new spiritually substance is born. Infused substance. The path you're walking is ever so dangerous, however, if you don't want the sacred white to be fouled by blood, then you should give up the grand process here. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's what I think it is. It appears you can insert an item. It says item. <coughs> no, I don't think it's what I think it is. I definitely don't think it's what I think it is. I thought it was going to have something to do with these medicines on the shelf, like acetic acid and the sulfuric acid. Doesn't seem that we can pick them up. This was like the one room I thought there'd be... Oh, he's coming in here? You can do nothing! Uh-oh. We don't go that way. Is that like a door that could ever be? Over here. Oh, 
Oh, that was mighty quick. That was mighty quick. I did not expect that to happen. I didn't think... Get... All right, so we just can't straight up get shot at all. <laughs> it's just, you cannot get shot. That's fair. That's fair. Bullets kill. Understood. Understood. I thought maybe we could take a round or two. Clearly we can't. Different, every horror game, we hadn't been shot by him yet. That's brand new. Now we know. We have acquired the knowledge that we got once we went to Dead Town. What he, we were literally standing in his face. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't really need to do much. It was just like, "Hi, face. Welcome to Dead Town." All right, we need to do something there for sure. This is just a place to hide, I think. Shut the front door! We can get in with Huey? What? What? <laughs> this never happened before? Shut the gosh darn front door! Flippity flap that's wiggity whack. I had no idea that you could do that. I just assumed Huey had to be like out in the open and exposed. All right, where have I not been to? What have I not? There's got to be something that I haven't looked at. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I guess I guess the guy's coming from somewhere. We'll just hide like cowards. Huey, come in here. Hide. 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 No? You're a dumb dog. I love you. You're my favorite dog. You're not a dumb dog. You're a genius. You're a murdery, murdery genius, and we love you. Maybe there's something over here? Can we kick these guys? No nuts for you! <laughs> okay. Well, I guess nothing happens if we beat the shit out of these guys, so... Who's the only one helping her so he can get the hell out of there, too? Well, yeah, man. He could totally hustle. The bars on that window are broken, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Oh, shit. Uh, the... Stabby lady's gone, so that... That mirror means nothing. Oh, my God. It's so cold outside right now. Man. <laughs> I was like, why am I cold? Why am I cold? Yet yeah, the window's open, man. What am I missing? Uh, I I think it's something do to do with alchemy. I think it is. That would be a strange thing to do. But I wouldn't be surprised. I am trying to keep an eye on our environment here, and I just don't... I'm blind. I have to be blind. Yeah, we can't go up. Up only leads to... Dead Lady. Dead maid lady. Right, I'm sorry. I gotta I gotta go use the lavatory real quick. I'll be I'll be right back in like half a second. You blink and I'll be back. Wait, it won't be that quick, but it'll be real quick. It'll be real quick. We gotta figure this out. At least this area. At least what we gotta do with these machines. But I'll be right back.
Well, let's uh, let's continue on here. I do think it's something alchemical, but I'm not entirely sure. You got anything? You hold anything in your nuts? <laughs> yep, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's that's one hundred percent fair. I I absolutely deserve that. Not gonna deny it. Dude was just minding his own business and I just started kicking him in the noodles. Nobody nobody wants to get kicked in the noodles. And and we did it. We we kicked him in the noodles and he was upset about it. What about this guy? What really? Do we do we feel better about ourselves now? No, I feel worse. We're picking on like we're picking on people. They 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 don't they don't deserve it. We're terrible. We're awful. Kick the statue. Yeah, I know some shit is setting them off, but if you take the coins off, then they'll balance each other. It's literally how that works. Right, right. We need the godstone, but that comes through like whatever whatever science we have to do with those machines. I don't like the silence. I don't like the silence. Break the silence. Dude pop out of somewhere. Nope. We found him. Yippee to the skippy. I don't want to go this way. Nothing? OM Jeepers! What am I missing? No time for that. Oh, well, that makes sense. Uh, this was the guy that punched my face off when I kicked him, which was, which was fair. Sure, he'll kill me. That doesn't help me in any way. There's this other machine in here. Born from the swirling sands of chaos, the primordial element, Prima Materia, begins to decay and before long changes into the yellow demon. For those seeking the next evolutionary step, stray not from the road of purification. I have no idea what the hell they want me to do. None of this makes sense. Alright, this is the first time I've been stumped. Most of the time, maybe there's like a door or something I haven't gone through. Uh, 
No, they don't. They don't drop. I was thinking maybe they drop something, but they don't. There aren't any more of those, like, floating balls, so it's not one of those things. No! No, no! Hmm. Trying to put my thinking cap on and trying to figure out what we got but i the only thing i really can think is the alchemy it's the only thing that makes sense unless unless these guys here have something with them that we can get from them all right let's look at comments a godstone. I've never heard that word before in my life, but maybe the stone will open the door. An extractor. I know this This will make me sound stupid, but maybe it's to extract things. I'll just push that idea that they're using it to extract something from that woman in that capsule out of my head for now. Now, even that Ricardo is telling me I should stay in the castle... But I'm not stupid. I know the longer I stay in here, the greater my chances are getting killed. Guess I'm safe. Why is it always like this? Uh, a synthesizer. It's been placed in the dark and spooky hallway. And it looks like some weird device. See a mad scientist. Maybe I should send him out and scout first. I don't know where that was. Yeah, that was probably the one with the, the crossbow. Almost 2 a.m., you're tired, probably going to head to bed. Hope you have a great rest of your stream. See you on the next stream. Have a good rest of your night. Well, you too, Merc, man. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. You have yourself a good evening yourself, man. Thanks for stopping by. Get some good sleep. I don't know what else I can do. Do I do I have a file? No. You don't have any items? Genuinely at a loss. Fish. Fish. I don't think the answer is back in here. Maybe I should go see the, uh... Maybe we should go back up to her body. Maybe it turned into something. You know, now that it's been exposed to all that moonlight, maybe, maybe there is a solution there. Slash runs through the surface of the screen. I best forget. It's definitely unusable now. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, that's the only thing I haven't checked. So I, I guess that's something we should do. Yeah, I'm I'm genuinely running out of the old thought brainos here. Maybe we have to try to create pure products with the alchemy. Like get a bunch of white spheres. It's the only other thing that I can think. But why would it rely on something RNG to beat the game? 
I mean, it's not really skill. It's it's more random than anything else. There was also this spot over here, remember? This was all locked up, too. Wait, where are we on the map? can't zoom in it may be a spot that we can get to just not something I can get to right now It's not back in here. It's not back in there. That is... I'm almost for certain it's not back in there. But it, it, it is strange. I haven't figured out how to get in there, though. Huh. And it's not that it's just locked, it's locked from the other side. Maybe where all that meat is? Maybe I forgot something there? I don't, I don't, I don't understand how that would be, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. So is this where we went down? For the mausoleum? Wait a second, it's still moving in there. It's being cooked alive. The more I look, the more it seems to resemble a human child, but certainly such nonsense as the stuff of horror novels and such. Things like that don't actually ever happen, do they? Go, Huey. Oh. Uh, there are stairs and stuff over there, but nothing that... There's nothing here that looks viable. I don't understand. This is like one big fucking dead end. Why is this a thing? Yeah. The other side to the right, I think, is... Yep, 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 yep. So, right above us is what I want to get into. Go here. But... There wasn't like a pathway or something I missed with the with the golem was there. I wonder what happens if he hits a dead end. He just gets absorbed into the wall. We don't need to go back down here again. Alright, well, the only thing I can think right now, the only thing that I can think is that it's alchemy. I don't, I don't know of anything. I don't see anything that would lead me in a different direction. It's, it's gotta be alchemy. That's the only thing that I can think that it should be. It just... 
Whoops. <laughs> Hello, sir. He is so damn slow. damn slow. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we'll just make our way up to the alchemy node again. And try to create some shit, cause I don't I don't know what else we can do. It said blue, blues the or white whites the first one, alum. Like there's this up here. I don't know what to do with up here. We need to get some sort of. Uh, are we on the map up here? So this will definitely lead us into something. But your fucking mama. Oh my god. All right, cool beans. No, this is progress. Kick the damn thing open. Decomposer. The initial step in this grand process begins with a manipulation of the primordial chaos. We found step one. Deliver the prima materia to the extractor and the path to the godstone in all of its righteousness whilst be known. Midway down the sacred path, if the result of one's knowledge bursts into ash, Return to this location, for man is a beast of many mistakes, and more fortunately so, of many redemptions. Thus, all is not lost. Ash begets chaos, chaos begets primordial life. Know that the grand process always begins here. Cool. The fuck? Alright, there's a hole in the wall there, there's a scale here. Shoddy looking research equipment has been left here. Yeah, but there's a fucking scale. I've seen similar equipment before. It looks like archaic in nature. None of that's helpful. Some notes have been jotted down. That foul beast of a dog, the damned beast, ran off with the prima materia that I was refining in the decomposer. Is that our dog? Is that Huey? I've spent countless hours stabilizing the damn thing, and that mutt up and runs off with it. However, there's no reason to go running about searching for it. Of course, it is one of the key ingredients for creating the Godstone, but I have little need for Godstone, as I will soon have my hands on a far greater power. Ah, my sweet, sweet Azoff. You are so splendid. A true masterpiece. I must have you. This infernal waiting grows rather tiresome. A dog. Maybe it's referring to Huey. Yeah. Alright. Well, definitely here. I wonder where it leads. Well, it doesn't matter where it leads. Where the fuck is Huey? Dude, where did you go? Come on. Come on. Seriously? Come on. Fucking asshole. Sometimes, man, I wonder about you. Alright, this way. And go in the hole. Do it. Do it. Be a champ. Go, Huey. What did we do? Uh, 
Flora looks as though it could give away at any second. Hardly overweight, but I better not risk it. Come on. Come on. You're a good boy. Good boy. There's definitely something on the other side of that, but we've got this as well. Come on. Dude. Come on. I want to fall down here. Is that a no no? Go here. Hmm. Maybe there's something we can do to entice Huey over there. But all right, let's send him in the hole again. No, dude, go go in the oh, hole. Huey. I'm sorry. Please go in the hole. All right, so what floor are we on? The second floor? I don't know where we sent him. Well, that's good. That was progress. That's somewhere I haven't been before. I'm an idiot for not kicking that door down. I wish it would tell you where Huey is. It tells you where you are on the map. I wish it would give you an idea where... Huey is. He's somewhere on the second floor. I don't know where that is, though. He ain't here. What? Did I never find my way in here? Did I die? Like, without saving, have I died? I mean, finding these things and then not saving. Is that, is that what I've done? wandering around here what seems like 18 years all right we can't do anything with that yet we are gonna find this we're gonna find where Huey is we're gonna get him to do whatever he's gonna do this is up up is good up is where yo hey Huey is inside go Huey okay that doesn't help me come on There we go. We needed to call him, not tell him to go. Sweet!
How is Huey not best dog? How is Huey not best dog? Huey is totally best dog. Where are you? You know what you get? You get adulation. He's such a good boy. He's the best boy. We give him, we give him all the love. Now don't kick him. Oh, I thought we were finding some. No. What is this? Purifier. The impure yellow mass of filth will set free the shining glory of the sacred platinum via this baptismal ritual. Proceed to the next step of the grand process that is synthesis. What the fuck? God, there's like eight of these things. Alright. I mean, it's fine. It's just there's a shit ton of them. Vareed Medallion. I don't think we need that. Seems to be a passage to another one here. Warm wind is blowing from that direction. Well, we don't have to worry about that. I think that's where we sent Huey from initially. All right, so we are looking for whatever the initial instigation thing. I thought it was that thing there. Sure. Where are we now? This is new. West Alcove. Alright. Oh, why, hello. Yeah, my meal. I mean, it's quiet. That's never good. We don't have any music going on, which is a frightening thing. Yeah, dude. Thank you. You fucking kidding me? He's coming? What the fuck? the fuck away from him well at least we know where we are now how the hell do I get back there again all right I don't think anybody can come down into this area so that's good this is like a bit of respite down here that's cool I don't know what happens when we go back up there, but we clearly need to go back up there. Huey, come, come here. On. Come on. Dude, for real? Why do you why do you Good boy? Good boy. Alright, it's quiet right now, which is never good. You can't. Good boy. Nope, we can't tell him he's a good boy. Not until everything is 
There's something glowing from the rear of the graveyard. I just can't make it out from here. Go, Huey. Huey's the best boy. I'm a materia. We done got it. Good boy. All right. So there is a specific process that we need to do for this. Aurelius Belly, 1698-1763. Go here. Can we find something there? No. Aurelius is like the guy that's kind of like put us on our mission here. It's all right, buddy. It's all right, buddy. Huey. All right, so where was that initial machine? A purifier. Well, the fact that the room was bolted shut has to mean that someone was serious about keeping people out of this room. Maybe there's something here, something important. I think what we're gonna do is rather than like failing and stuff like that, we'll just save and then just like save scum <laughs> through this shit. All right. Um, I don't remember exactly where that room was. Oh, it was the door we kicked in. It was the door we kicked in. Where? That's where we need to go first. Uh... I was down here, right? A uh, door we kick in. All right, we can't do anything there yet. That might be number two. Oh, I should have saved, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I save this time? Shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? I should have saved. Uh, we'll have another opportunity. We're not... I, the, the guy that's chasing us is not exactly a huge threat outside the fact that he can murder me in one shot. I can't believe we made it through that hallway and not dying. I think that's pretty doggone impressive that I did not get murked. Hey, and our buddy caught up? Good. Alright, so I think this is number one. It says it's the initial step. So this is what we do. We'll take the prime of materi and jam that bad boy in here with our fist. An indescribable material that looks like it could be both a solid and a liquid. Mercury? Is it mercury? Don't touch that with your hands. Alright, now what do we have? No transformation occurred. I guess it didn't work. Maybe I should try a different item? Excusez-moi. What was this machine called? Oh, don't kick it. A decomposer. Oh. Come on. I love how he avoids it.
Oh, I bet you we could get uh, Shooty McBooty to fall through that. All right, well, that was all wrong. Uh, how do we get in here? Do we go through here? Uh, let's go back upstairs then. Let's go find that other one, the first machine that we found. I mean, why not, right? I guess the decomposer resets the prima materia. So that's one we don't have to worry about as long as I don't fuck it up. I guess. So I guess maybe we can try this one. Here. We'll, uh... We'll save. Mistakes get made, we'll reset. It'll be easy peasy. Alright, so what do we got here? Synthesizer. No transformation occurred. Alright, synthesizer's wrong. That one said the bright white one. I don't know what condition it's in right now. It just says prima materia. Material. Prima material. Not prima materia. Was it? Was it materia? It's materia. It's... Alright, so... Hmm. Well, I guess it wasn't alchemical. That's really nice. Because that had me flipping out that that's what it was going to be. I guess we could try this one. Yeah, we still got music going. We're alright. Composition is item is changed. Sulfuric ore. It's yellow. Do we go down to make it red now? We go down to that dead end path? I don't remember how to get there. Is it this one? Screw to Jiminy Christmas, I don't remember what the hell to do. What's this one? The impure yellow mass of filth will set free the shining glory of the sacred platinum yellow mass. So this one? It actually transformed. Silver. We're doing alchemy. Ore produced by refining sulfuric ore. Shit, I mean, if we did it... We're saving. Uh, I don't remember anything talking about silver. Do we have anything in the comments? No... Don't do that. Oh, 
and then I bet you we put the god stone on the, uh, on the, uh, weight, or whatever that is. The scale, on the scale. Medallion, great. Well, that's why I wanted to go back down this off, because I remembered the shiny thing. Not what we wanted, but nonetheless. And we go back the other way. It's I, I think it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. I don't remember how we get back down to the uh, dead end red area. I think I know. Not positive, I think I know. What? It probably wasn't good that we heard somebody scream. Yep, definitely not good that we heard somebody scream. Alright, well, we saved, so that's good. Over there. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. This way? Maybe. Yeah, we definitely lost them. This way or the no, wasn't this way. This way. Yeah. All right. Well, here's our shot. This doesn't seem right. I don't think this is the right one, but we're going to try it. Okay. Fucking baby. Kick the damn thing! Yay! No! Oh! 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 Oh, I'm so sorry! Good boy. I was just trying to kick the fucking demon thing! Good boy. Dude, I am so sorry. I kicked you. I kicked you. I'm evil. Good boy. Oh my god. Alright, so it's still silver. Do we think maybe it's the first one? The, the one where the stabby lady found us? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's where we bring it. said like something about half white or something like that so maybe that's the one that we bring it to god it feels so shitty like i don't mean to kick huey i just want 
How did they kick the bad guy? And he murdered him, so it didn't it didn't didn't really serve a purpose. He he murdered him. It seems that we can't mess up the process, so I thought maybe that's what would end up happening. We'd screw this up, and then it'd be like, all right, its composition has changed. It's red now, right? White. Wait, is that it? Is that it? Is that white godstone? Is that, are we done? A smooth, milky white material created by refining silver ore. Does that mean we're done, or does that mean that... I don't know if the, it said Godstone, right? Let's give it a shot. How many times I say we saving, we saving. White Godstone. It said Godstone, so that's that's a good thing, right? I can't believe the solution was to kick that damn door down. I am such a buffoon sometimes. A second to get some stamina back. Uh, this way? Can we go this way? What happens if we jam the white godstone in the red thing? This is just curiosity. Red Godstone. Crimson stone forged through a process that refines white godstones to their purest form. I guess we did the right thing. <laughs> I guess we did the right thing. I know I can't I can't do the stupid Zelda noise. Come on. <laughs> this guy's just scratching his head. <laughs> I like you. You're my favorite. Come on. Dude, where the hell is Huey? We don't need Huey. Apparently we don't need Huey. A forest map? <laughs> it's still going? Oh, 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 oh. Fair enough. 
Hey, we found Huey. Um, uh, dude? Yo, that motherfucker better have not shot Huey. Why did it make a puzzle noise? That's not a good noise! A satellite dish? This is a sundial. I think it's used to tell the time of the day, depending on the length and direction of the shadow, but I'm not sure. It's exactly what a sundial is. Look at that. It's another clock, save current game. Sure. Chaos Forest? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Definitely never figuring our way out through this. Definitely never. Do we not hear him? You've been shot. You'll be alright. This will stop the bleeding. Who the fuck would shoot Huey? The only guy with a gun! And nobody knows where the fuck I am. Over here. I got shot. I got shot. Holy shit! Oh, that's like a good way to go. Go through the weird arches. Go through the the brown arches. See, brown arches, the way to go. Why 
hear you doing this? What did I do? You inherited your father's Azov. That is what you did. What Azov? I don't even know what that is! That Azov belongs to us, Fiona. Don't you see? You are our child. Stop! I am not your child. I know exactly who my parents are. Fiona, we are, or rather I am, knowledge. I hold invaluable information from the dawn of time. I am a great alchemist. I will not die. I am Oriola's belly and I... Look at me, Fiona. Look. What? <gasps> you you got like something fun, here. You go. Daddy. <sighs> we are clones. <laughs> we are clones. <laughs> <laughs> is he trying to kill me? But <laughs> what? If I'm technically his daughter, why is he trying to murder me? He rammed us off the road. Oh. Into logs. Oh. Quite unfortunate. No more. I am the original. Uh. What? <laughs> what? With that, Azov, I will finally be complete. You are about to give birth to me. All over again. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Give birth to me? Excuse me? We popping out babies now? Huey. You saved me Keys. again. Looks like we changed our clothes. This looks like a map of sorts. Tower sketch. Folded memo. Hey, it's an actual thing we can read. Fiona, are you well? Let me tell you about the location you are currently in. This place is known as the Water Tower. That cursed Ricardo has confined you in this tower. It disheartens me to say that there are no exits left in the water tower. However, all is not lost, for there is a way to create an exit. Somewhere in the basement, there lies an item known as Magisterium. After you obtain it, use it at the top floor of the tower that will open a path that connects the water tower with the house of truth where I reside. Also, avoid Ricardo at all costs. He is, for lack of a better word, dangerous. Oh... If I on, if only I weren't cursed with this useless fossil of a body, I would run to your aid. Also, fate hasn't given me that chance. I pray for your safety, Fiona. Lorenzo. Alright, uh, would you mind? Uh, how did how did Huey get the freak in here?
Like seriously, I mean, if it if there's no way in or out, how did he get in? I guess we don't need the keys anymore. Is there nothing in the jail cell? Nope. Nothing else. So we're just flopping around in our bare feet and all our jiggly bits hanging out. Bronze figurine. A small bronze statue of a man. I have no clue as to where it should be used. Oh, we've got our metal boots on. Swell. Beef jerky. Good news. What? Sublimatum container. May the wise sage, seer of all, show the testament of proof to the wounded and thusly receive deserved compensation. What? Sublimatum. It's like the same device that I saw in the mansion before. Uh, did you throw the bronze figure in there? Nope. It did not want that. Another exit, there has to be one somewhere. Fiona. Oh, what the hell? The formula is working, then. It works directly on the eyes. You can't see me, can you? You are mine. I own you. You are mine. I own you. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with the texturing? There's nowhere to run. Also, what the hell is wrong with the texturing? Plenty of where to run. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Uh... What the fuck? Hey, good dog. Uh, I wasn't able to save between those points.
All right. Yep. That'll do it for tonight. <laughs> that's, that's enough to make me angry. That's enough to make me angry. There wasn't like a save point around there, at least one that I could see. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll have to pick this up again. I was I was willing to at least try to attempt to finish that tonight. I figure that that may be like the last encounter, but man, that was really unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. I didn't I I guess I chose the wrong path to go down. We immediately got spotted. There wasn't a place to save after we took care of some of those things. That's really unfortunate. Either way, I there's probably not a lot left in this game. There there, there probably isn't. I just it's four in the morning for me, so I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to finish it. I just don't. I don't have it in me tonight. That that took everything out of me right there. That that made me sad. That made me very sad. Very, very sad. But I'll be back. We'll finish it up. Hopefully tomorrow evening. You know, that's that's how it rolls. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed. I hope everyone has had a lovely evening. There's people in here. We can at least make some sort of attempt to see if there's somebody I know streaming that I can, like, throw some love towards. Maybe there's more, uh, somebody else playing Haunting Ground. Someone that's, you know, like, not, not at the end of the game like me. Haunting Ground. There is one person. Playing Haunting Ground. They look like they're relatively early on. Why don't we give Mother Monarch a raid? They look like they're having fun. So let's uh let's say Heidi Ho. And uh thanks everyone for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow evening. Hopefully we'll beat it. Uh enjoy your mornings, afternoons, evenings, whatever you got going on. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks everyone for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And uh let's just go say hi to somebody real quickly and uh peace out, guys. I will I will definitely do my best to be back tomorrow evening. And we'll 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 finish this out. But thanks everyone for hanging out. Let's go say let's go say hey. <laughs>